Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden and you're not. And I'm Paul Kidwell. We're here today in the Geek Group Super Secret Underground Bunker location deep under the basement of the Science Building at beautiful Grand Valley State University where it's, we're back. It's August. Yes. It's time for the August video shoot. Yes, it is. Cool. And it's slightly hotter than like the second layer of hell here. Yes. It's not so much. It's, 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 it's not a dry heat. <laughs> it is not. It's no, like, it's, I'm, a, I'm it's like, a back of the, like, it's, it's a taint heat. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's bad. And it's you're melting. Bad. I'm, I'm, the, the humidity is killing me. Yeah. Okay. So, Summertime yes, is not fat man weather. It's like, I'm not fat man either well, anymore. Well, you, you're bigger than me, so it counts. Everybody's fat to me. It's one of the joys yes, of being a skinny little shit. So, you know. <laughs> I use the term scrawny, but that's just me. I'm athletically trim. Yeah. So it says on my OK Cupid profile, athletically <laughs> trim or something. I don't know. So we've got some, uh, some monthly update stuff to do. Oh, First yes. off, um, we have to say thank you to Lewis. Um, Lewis C. in Ann Arbor, Michigan, thank you for your donation of $100. That thank is you, Lewis. absolutely wonderful. Mm -hmm. So that's done. Um, what else do we have? I, I got some viewer mail. You got viewer mail. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Um, somebody named Rona Kamantri. Rona Kamantri? I don't know. I don't okay. know. It's a YouTube user. I have only one neon transformer. It is 3,000 volts, 30 milliamps, midpoint grounded. So he's got Aww. the tiniest, weedly, sad little NST yeah. ever. It has two know. outputs. Well, duh. Mm -hmm. um, 1,500 volts each, of course, out of phase. I want to join these outputs to a wire so that I can get 3,000 volts in a single wire. Now, if I join them to, okay, I'm going to read this exactly. I'm guessing English isn't his first language, but we'll do the best we can, okay? I want to join these outputs to a wire so that I can get 3,000 volts in one single wire. Now, if I join them to a single wire, there there may be, there will be high reverse voltage induced by the outputs against each other. That is why I think that two diodes may be necessary. Please feel free to give me your thoughts on this idea. Actually, what I want to do is convert a midpoint grounded transformer two outputs to an endpoint grounded transformer one output. So will the diodes work and I get what I want? No. Um. <laughs> I think the term we're looking for here is half wave rectifier. I'm okay, guessing. you put two diodes on the output. You know, one diode on diode on you each wanna, output. You want to go to the whiteboard for this? We can do that. Let's go to the whiteboard. Okay. All right. Here, um, you where's the eraser? You eraser. I just we don't need an eraser. We don't make mistakes. Well, we we do old stuff that we need to get rid of. Oh, okay. Um, so there, but that was we were talking about right. Beowulf clusters. AC coming in. Okay. Well, 120 volts. He's got a midpoint grounded, so he's got 1.5 K here and 1.5 K here. Yeah. And they want to take. I'm going to get out of your way. Okay. Okay. He wants to take these two wires and get 3,000 volts. Well, between there and there, you do have 3,000 volts. That is true. But he wants one wire. He wants one wire. Well, the only way he can do it is if he lets this float. So he takes the case of his neon sign transformer okay. and isolates it from ground. Okay. So that its case floats at 1500 volts. Okay. This is called a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. I know that, but you need to explain it to the kids. Okay. If you put two diodes in, this is full wave rectification on this transformer. The thing is, your peak voltage is 1.5K, not 3K. Okay. So your, your waveform coming out. It's going to be real, yeah, bouncy. Like that, it'll be all positive, but your voltage level is 1.5K here. So there's, there's no that. way just off this to get his 3K. Now, what if he added like a, if he rectified it and went through like a voltage doubler type thing? You could Maybe do a little a Cockroft double. Walton mojo. Not so much Cockroft Walton. You could use a regular, uh, you could use microwave oven transformers and some microwave oven diodes. Yeah, but he doesn't have that. He's got, and judging by the super weedly little transformer he's got, 
I mean, this is probably some kid in like Uzbekistan or something. All right. Well, microwaves are easy to come by, even in Uzbekistan. Okay. So you could use a microwave oven diode. And that'll get him four kilovolts right away. And that'll give him, four, yes. Well, if he's got 1,500, it'll get him. No, I meant like if you had a microwave, you can get a mott and. He can get the mots, yes. But then now we've gone from a kid who doesn't know how to rectify at 1,500 volts. With, 30, with, with a 30 milliamp yeah, current limit. This, this is pretty safe. Oh, to do so. the diodes, you do need to ground right there. Okay. So. But, all right, so this is way more complicated than anything he's going to get in a basic, simple video answer. This, this would, kid needs some help. I would say don't. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what you want to do, um, because what you're asking is, is not terribly technically difficult. It's just not the kind of thing that you want to learn watching a video on the internet. Um, you're only playing with, you know, 1500 volts at 30 milliamps, so it's not going to kill you. It, it could, is going to hurt. It's going to hurt like heartbreak. Um, but it's not going to kill you unless you do something impressively dumb, so don't do anything really stupid. But what you want to do is go to thegeekgroup.org, get in our forums, and you'll find a thousand other guys there just like you who've done this before, who've been electrocuted doing it wrong, who've mm -hmm. set the table on fire, we've made the mistakes. Get in there. We're here to help you guys. That's what we're here for. And Paul and I are both in there. He's TMB. Yes. I'm Alpha Geek. And it's, there, there's a million guys in there that are smarter than us, so I, we're, we're here to help. Um, but that's, that's what you want to do on that, because it, it gets way complicated in a hurry. But what you're trying to do can be done. You can end up with 3,000 volts DC from what you're doing, um, but it's, it's twiddly, so it's, we'll get there. It's a little more complicated than just using diodes. <laughs> All right, so let's see what the next one is. Um, oh, what do we got? Oh, this, this one's for you. For me? Yes, it's, it's for you. Apparently, you know somebody who can write. Um, I have the same, oh, this is from 123 Kano. I have the same phone as Paul. The reason I'm watching this video, this is the soldering basics video. Oh, yeah. The one where I was so horribly mean to you and completely immature. Man, you ought to see the comments. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube commenters suck. Um, <laughs> I have the same phone as Paul. The reason I'm watching this video is because I'm trying to learn how to solder the charging port of the phone. The charging port has 20 really small pins in it. Any advice on how I can solder it without causing bridges? Now, i got to give the guy credit. He, he actually did spell it right. Yes, he did. Now, show me your phone. Do you got it? I have it. You have 20 wires in your charging port? This is a Samsung here, show Instinct. It, show it right here. Look, we've got, oh, we've yeah. got the close-up. All right, now, where's your charging port? Other end. Now, where is it? It's over here. Okay. It's not a USB? Wow. It looks like a damn HDMI port. Um, let me get some light so we can see in there because I need an overhead light. That's, that's a new thing. Okay, there's... That's the port right that's, there. Yeah, you're screwed. Yeah, you're not... <laughs> Buy a new phone. <laughs> um, let me see your light. All right, I, I don't want to take my phone apart. Sure, in order hang to on. Let me, we can do an autopsy. No, on no. That's a great idea. No. Here, we'll do no. this. And, and what else? We'll need. Oh, yeah, we'll need, we'll need those. There I'm putting my phone away now. I got a hammer. Oh, yeah. Delicate phone tools. You can use that. You can. <laughs> So what's, what's the answer on that? Just um, you're screwed by on, a new phone? The answer on that is you're going to need, you're going to need practice soldering on something you don't value. Um, the circuit cards I was playing with were using traces that were a lot larger than what's on that connector. Um, I wouldn't try that on my own phone unless <laughs> I was desperate. Um, That's not that expensive of a phone. That, not anymore. Yeah. It's an older phone, really. Okay. So. All right. So just, you're screwed. Yeah. Get a new phone. There's, there's no way. I, I would never dream of trying to solder anything. The thing like to that. look at is to go in and check to see if your contract has gone far enough along that they'll upgrade you. Um, after about 10 months of having your contract, the phone company is making money on you and it's worthwhile to upgrade to a newer plan. Yeah. We, Sprint keeps giving us new phones all the time. The exactly. phone I've got, I got for free. Yes, it's and like, and it's there's like two or three every month that changes, but you can pick a free mm -hmm. phone, it's great. But there, there's a point in the contract where prior to a certain date, they're making money, they're, you know, you're, you're spending money on them. Yeah. And after that date, they're making money on you. And it's, after that date, that's when you want to do your upgrade. Okay, cool.
Cool. So All right, we've I'd got say up, upgrade your phone. It would be better than to try and uh, horribly void your warranty. <laughs> Um, all right, we've got one here from Jenny, and this this isn't so much a, a viewer response. It's just a thing I got in today. I've already written written her back, but it's it's a kind of mail that we get a lot of, mm -hmm. and I figured I'd read one on the air. Um, this is from Jenny. My 13-year-old son is a huge fan, and he is scaring me to death with his experiments. I would love for him to become a men member and have a mentor. His interests are high voltage, NST, Tesla coils, capacitors, and all kinds of things that I don't understand. Help! We live in the GR area, and I was so excited that you were in West Michigan. Jenny, you rule. Thank oh, you. Oh, yeah. Um, I've already written her back, and I don't know who her 13-year-old son is, but as soon as we get a new lab, you are absolutely invited to come on down, and we will help you. If you have any questions with NSTs or Tesla coils or anything like that, by all means, send an email in. Um, you should definitely go to thegeekgroup.org, fill out a membership application, and get in the forums. There's a lot of people there. We're happy to answer your questions and yes. keep you from getting killed. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm, I'm, I think it's really cool that like his mom used proper terms. She spelled Tesla coils right. She spelled capacitors right. You know, NST. I, she's, she's involved. She's a parent yes. who's actually involved, and that's the coolest thing ever. So Jenny, just for actually caring and being involved with your kids high voltage hobby in science education. That's like the greatest thing ever. You are an awesome mm -hmm. mom. And, and I have something totally unrelated. This is not viewer mail, but I just had to share this with the rest of the class because somebody sent me an email a while back um, and this, this was a, a topic and they didn't believe me. So I figured I would share. Now you're a gentleman, you've, you've worked with wire your whole yeah. life. You know wire gauges. Mm -hmm. Okay, now there's your close up right there. Now I'm gonna, I, I don't know if I have something where people can see uh, for a size, ah, here, this'll work. Here's a pen for comparison, okay. Now, I, where are you going? I was looking, I have some wire back here that's oh, a known okay. gauge. And now I was what, gonna, what gauge is that? I'm gonna say about 30. Yeah, I, that, that was what I said, was it was about 30. It was, it was uh, about 30 or 32 gauge. That, that's a nose hair, My one of my nose hairs. Person. And, yeah, and um, they didn't believe me that when I said that I have giant, freakishly, terrifyingly thick nose hairs. So I figured I'd put one in the, the general monthly update video. That is that is indeed one of my nose hairs. I and, have one uh, thing to say. What? Ew. <laughs> it's science, man. Come on. It's a nose hair. Okay, I generally it's don't... It's a nose hair. With, I don't generally deal with biology, but I mean, you got the root there, too. Yeah, I mean, that, like, that one... That, the man, follicle came with it. Yeah, it wasn't pleasant. That was one of those where you go like, ah, and then sneeze 50 times. Here, we can get one of yours if you want. Thank you, no. Come on, do it for science. No. I had... No, I... It's, I'm you all, ain't got a I'm, hair on your ass. You won't let me pluck a nose hair. Come on, that'd be fun. Go away. <laughs> All right, um, so what's next? Uh, they wanted to see, we had a lot of people writing in about gear. Everybody's oh, yes. always writing, yes. oh my God, is that a gun? <gasps> and so, yeah, and, and, and what model Gerber do we and use? And yeah, oh that God, move. really? The link? Yeah, you, yeah, gotta, you gotta just pow, right there, yes, Gerber Ninja. Like, wow. Yes. So, yeah, and you they can They actually have basket. an instruction sheet that comes with this on how to do that. Really? Yes. Wow. So, I never read the instructions. It came but with But you hold it loose, and you hold it back, and you just flick, and it comes right out. All right, so shall we, shall we de-gear for the class? I think, show people. Yes. All right, we both wore full gear today. This isn't everything, because it's August, yeah. and it's way too hot for that crap. But And I don't have my CPL permit renewed yet. Yeah, you don't have yours renewed. Mine's valid, um, so mm -hmm. I'm carrying, but I always carry. Um, and this, this is the full gear. So cameraman, follow along. Here we go. Now this is, this is summer gear. This is what I wear out and about. Um, and I've got pretty much everything I would carry in the summertime out for UET and all that jazz. So we've got standard as car keys, right there. There's my car keys. Now on my keys, I've got my little container that I, uh, I usually keep a 20 in here. And just, it's, it's a little waterproof thing. I don't have my keys with me. But I keep a folded up, that's 100 actually in there right now. So that's, I, I always try to carry $100 on me wherever I go because if you get your, tar, if you get your car towed, you need 100 bucks. So that, that's what I keep with me. Now also on there I've got um, a pair of basic screwdrivers that are kind of beefy. Um, these are standard quarter inch. There's a, 
a uh, straight blade and Phillips head. And I've got lab key, lab studio key. This is geek one, this is geek two, and that's my house key. And then this is a little tag on here, which I'm not going to put on the internet, but that's got my phone number on it. I actually got it at uh, PetSmart. Uh, we, dog tag. We, yeah, we got tags for the dog, and they'll enter them there for like a dollar. Mm -hmm. So I got a tag made up with my phone number on it. So okay. that if these get dropped somewhere, people are like, oh, Chris, and there's a phone number, and they know it comes. Um, so here's another neat one. This I got this at Gander Mountain, and we use them all the time. It's actually a lens cleaning cloth. Oh, no, that's different. And I give these out to the, the camera guys. I carry them myself. And we've got a whole kit, but I priced them out at, like, B&H Photo. Yeah. And they're they're not expensive at, like, B&H or at Norton's Camera or whatnot. But Gander Mountain had them for, like, next to nothing. And it's the same thing. It's this neat little, you know, it's right with you, and it's handy. So there's my keys. And, oh, by the way, we've got, this isn't part of my carry kit, but we the camera guys carry these. So this is the big Gander Mountain kit, it's upside down. Put it up, yeah. um, but it's it's the big lens cleaning kit, and it's got a couple of the pens, and the pens have the little the little brushes in them, like uh, like that. Oh, little nice. Lens cleaning brush. And then I gotta on the, get one. On the other that. end, it's got the little scrubby thing. Mm-hmm. For when and you get something real. Yeah. In. And and they got that. And, and then you got a big one. And then, yeah, that's got the same thing, a big one. That's got a thing, a cleaning fluid, and then another microfiber cloth. And yeah, there, it's, it's like 20 bucks for that. It's great. The Ender Mountain. All right, so like other gear. Flashlight. Um, the two things that I absolutely, well, maybe three things that I absolutely carry with me at all times are a flashlight, my small Swiss Army knife, and my Gerber. Those absolutely everywhere in, in the house, doesn't matter. Um, I don't like wear my sidearm in the house usually. but. The, a geek's flashlight is a holy and sacred thing. Mm -hmm. And for everybody, like, like if you don't do this, try it. Even if you're not like a geek, though if you're watching this video, you obviously are. Um, it's time to admit that you have a problem. Just accept <laughs> that. <laughs> but a flashlight and a Gerber, if you carry those two simple things, just a flashlight and a Gerber, everywhere you go for one month, you will w spend the rest of your life wondering how the hell you ever got along without them. It's just, it's, it's a fundamental tool. We are tool using primates, have these. Mm -hmm. The best flashlight out there right now that I've found, and I've tried everything under the sun, is the Streamlight Stylus Pro. That's it. It's a single LED light. It's white. It's super bright. Um, uses just standard, I think this is a double A AA or a triple A. It's got to be triple. Um, might be triple. I don't know. I haven't opened it in forever because the batteries last for freaking ever in it. I think it has the same battery. Yeah, it's triple A's. Uh, two triple A's. And these are the same batteries I put in it when I bought it and I've had it for, uh, since I put, I bought, I got it when I bought the new batteries for Geek One. So it's about six, eight months now. I could um, use one of them. That's but nice. that's, it's a good light. It's, mm -hmm. it's a good, rugged, beat on it light. So that's my light. And Gerber. All right, I'm going to wait on Gerber. We'll get into that um, because we'll compare Gerbers. Now this, yes, I carry a gun. Get over it. Um, this is the United States. For all the guys in the UK who seem to think this is an amazing thing. That, oh, my God, he carries a gun. Ah! That's why we won the war. <laughs> Okay, and you didn't. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> I need to put in a plug. Oh, what? Okay. People sit there and argue the Second Amendment back, forth, left, right. You know, there's commas in there. There's a whole thing about yeah. the militia. Well, we live in Michigan. Okay. Michigan has its own constitution. All the states have their own constitution. Yes, they do. Okay. Well, Michigan has two wonderful lines in their constitution. Article 1, Section 1, so important they put it first. Okay. is that all power is inherent in the people. Okay. All right? That means we have the power. Not the government, not anybody else. It's us. You keep thinking that. Yeah. Let me know how well, that works out for you. Article 1, Section 6 is everyone shall have the right to keep and bear arms for the defense of themselves and the state. Okay. You try and interpret that some other way. <laughs> okay. All right. Everyone has the right to carry. Okay. Well, I'm and not. It, I'm not getting into a big thing on gun laws or gun okay. rights or anything. Like that. That's outside the scope of this, and I really don't want to have that war with the YouTube commenters. Yeah. Well. Um, but just for me, 
I carry a sidearm. I carry a sidearm pretty much everywhere I go outside of the house. I carry it when I'm working shows and stuff like that. I carry it if I'm doing walk around magic. I carry a gun. It's what I do. I don't carry a gun because I'm a badass. I don't carry a gun because I want to be Rambo or I want to shoot somebody or I want to pick a fight or any dumb crap like that. I carry a gun because a cop is too heavy. I carry a gun because when seconds count, the police are only minutes away. This is true. I carry a gun because I'm responsible enough to do so, and I passed about three billion different background checks, including FBI stuff, and had to take classes, and I shoot more in a year than probably 99% of the people watching this in their lifetimes combined. Um, in 2007, we kept track just for kicks to see yeah. how many bullets I went through. Mm -hmm. um, rim fire alone, I went through 30,000 rounds in good. one year. Yeah, mm -hmm. and two barrels. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, and, and there are people watching just going, it's impossible to wear out the barrel on a 22. Yeah, oh, come on down, I got no, one that's perfectly smooth, no rifling at all. Um, but yeah, I carry a gun because I have the right to and because I'm responsible to. It's no mm -hmm. more dangerous than a car. There are hundreds of thousands of people watching this that drive cars every day, and you can kill just as many people with your Buick. But I carry a Glock 26. It is, yes, it's the girly Glock. I'm a little guy, okay? Mm -hmm. um, but it, it is a standard 9mm Glock 26. That's it. Um, and I shoot, what are these? Uh, FC, I should know that. Oh, these are Federals. Um, federal, hollow point, standard, 9mm, nothing special. I actually have a couple different brands of bullets in there right now. But yep, that's my weapon, and carry that everywhere I go. So what's next? Because I'm, I'm trying to get rid of all the hate mail all at once. Uh, oh, here's a neat one. What you got? This, actually more useful than a gun. Really? Yes. Um, if you are out and about on a regular basis, I strongly recommend these, especially if you live in the city, because for a lot of people who aren't comfortable carrying a gun or can't carry a gun, one of the best self-defense things ever is a good sturdy pair of proper handcuffs. Don't buy the crappy, cheap, like, Valor brand hack. No, no. Most cops that I know carry Smith & Wessons. I don't like them. They're kind of clunky. These are peerless. Um, I've carried Peerless my whole life. They've always been my favorite. Welded links is something you want to look for, and you want to look for double locking. If you look on the edge, there's a little button right here. That means it's double locking. And what that means is if you take, if you ever notice a handcuff key has a little point on the yeah. back, you put that in there. You, you handcuff somebody and then put that in there, and then they can't close anymore. It so locks not, them open and closed. On yep, the so if they sit on them or something, it won't hurt them. Mm -hmm. Because if you handcuff somebody, you're responsible for their safety. Right. So that's the thing. Um, but they're very handy. These are just a good thing to have for all kinds of situations where, like, I, I do a lot of magic. I have a lot of people that, you know, want to pick a fight and stuff like that because I'm a performer. So handcuffs are a handy thing to have because if you pull a gun out, you've immediately created a situation. Right. That's the last thing I want to do. If you pull out a hand, you know, if, if you got some guy who's, you know, being a pain in the ass and trying to pick a fight, you just take these, loop your hand right through them like that. Mm -hmm. And it's very effective. It's, it's nice, just settle somebody right down. And a lot of people just assume that if you have handcuffs on you that you know, you're some manner of law enforcement or something. Now okay. it's against the law to say I'm a police officer or something like right. that. But if you just have a pair of handcuffs and hang them on your belt right in the front, they mellow out. <laughs> um, other things, what other crap do I have? You're, not, you're not responsible for what they assume. I am not responsible for their assumptions, no. Uh, if, if you're doing that, show, wearing, the, show the holster on that. Oh yeah, I've got, this is really nice. This, if, if you're going to carry handcuffs, get a good holster for them. This is a bikini style holster from JP Leather. I thought it was an Uncle Mike's actually. But that's JP Leather. It's a bikini style holster and it's great because it doesn't make any noise. Okay, the most, most people that carry handcuffs have like the pouch type holster. They clink mm -hmm. and clunk and I hate that. Um, it, it, I'm still trying to find a way to have a silent mint carrying mechanism. All right, um, Gerber. Now I'm gonna we do Gerber's myth. Blackberry. That's my Blackberry. It's on, but I'm not. Well, hang on. Let me make sure it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't show the phone number. Okay, that's that's my Blackberry. Yes, I actually have an Avalon background screen on my Blackberry. It is the Bold, I think. I don't know what the hell Blackberry do I have. You have that silenced, right? Yeah, it's silenced. Good. Um, but I, I just I've I got, just made sure. I've got the big gnarly Blackberry. I think it's the Bold. I could be wrong. Um, it's a bold? Okay, it's a bold. So yeah, that's my BlackBerry uh, with an 8 gig card. It has a cell phone capability in it. There are exactly two people in the world that know that number and it's staying that way. 
Um, I'm not one of them. Huh? No, you're not. I don't love you that much. Oh. <laughs> you never call me on my regular cell phone. Ever. And you don't answer yours. And your butt texts me. Yes, it does. I don't even want to know. Like yesterday, I was getting like plus. <laughs> And in like 20 minutes later, plus, I'm like, what the hell? Oh, it's his ass. Okay, fine. Um, here's one. I, actually, I'll pull one of them out. You know, I never noticed a little display. Oh, yeah, if you press a little it. little display. There's, there's a little flash. Here, we'll talk about this. We're going to do a whole video on these. But this is a Volcano. It's an e-cig. There's a million different brands. Volcano is by far the best. We love them. And there's down inside. We, I need a light up there so that people can see stuff. Give me your flash. But, uh, but uh, that's, that's yeah. it. I'll play e screen light. And uh, I carry cartridges here. These are two batteries and then an extra Addy. What this is, is an electronic cigarette. It looks like that. And there's, there's the actual thing. And we're going to do a whole demo on these. But basically what it is, is it's a way for me to get nicotine and not have to beat people to death with a shovel. And I haven't had a regular cigarette since May 15th. Well, there was the one magic trick where you... Oh, and you, God, uh, and yes. You, oh, oops. I, I was uh, doing street magic uh, just a few days ago, and I do a standard thing of vanishing a cigarette butt. And I won't tell you how, but it's, it's a thing where I take a cigarette butt and just... And it's gone. And as part of the thing is you want to show it's a real cigarette. So this woman handed me a cigarette. I'm just standing outside on a street corner, and she hands me a cigarette, and I put it in my mouth and took a hit. Oh, it was and the butt. Yeah, she, she hands me just the butt, and, and there's like, you know, one hit left on it. Mm -hmm. And she hands this to me and just, <laughs> and wanted to die. I just, oh, man, I felt like I was 14 again. It was just like, oh, God, that's vile, disgusting. Ah, so, yeah, I haven't had a real cigarette since May, and I'm not, never going back. This is the best money I've ever spent in my entire life. I, Compar I had comparatively speaking, is it cheaper than regular? Oh speed? God, yes. Um, it's because there's a financial aspect to things now. I was pay, when I well, quit in May, I was paying, I want to say about six seventy-five a pack mm -hmm. in Michigan, and uh, this, an equivalent to a pack of cigarettes, is a pack of carts, and it's got like five carts in there, and it actually lasts me about two days. Right. Um, I used to smoke uh, the equivalent of a pack a day of cigarettes, and now I'm at like half a pack a day of this. And one pack of this is about three, three fifty, or so. And you can get your own fluid, and it's like eight dollars for a thing of fluid, and that'll last me a month. So, so you're, you're I went from six dollars a day to like you know eight dollars a month. Yeah. So yeah, I'm pretty happy. Major about that. improvement there. Yeah, Philip Morris can bite me. Um, <laughs> oh no, R.J. Reynolds. Sorry, that, R. J. Was, that was yeah. I smoke camels. Um, what else do we have? Oh, this is a cool one. Now let's see. Previously, usually I carry like you know it's all weapons and lights and computers and stuff, but no, I. Uh, you got a yo-yo. I got a yo-yo. I'm a yo-yo freak. I, I've been a yo-yo guy since I was a kid, and I've got hundreds of different yo-yos. I this is just a basic. I don't even know what one this is. Oh, it's a fast. This is a, a fast. Um, I that, do that's have. That's a serious yo-yo. It's got. Does it got the ball bearing inside? Um, no. This is. Well, I don't know if this has a ball bearing or not. Let's find out. I have to have an excuse to play with a yo-yo on camera. Definitely. Oh. All right. Here. That's this is the actual yo-yo that saved the show. This is that famous yo-yo. Ah, where from, the, the yeah, fire we, we had, sort of got toggled off. Yeah, that's a bearing. That's, that's pretty that's good. That's a ball bearing. Um, but uh, it's, uh, this has a fast system, so it makes that funny sound. But this is this yo-yo is famous in that we once had a group of, I don't know, fourth or fifth graders come mm -hmm. to, back when we were on 2nd Street. Right. We had a group of kids come in for a show, and we were kind of new. This is like 2002, 2003. And we were pretty new to doing live shows for students. Mm -hmm. And one of the kids toggled off a fire extinguisher because we have lots of fire extinguishers all it over the place. It wasn't one of the CO2 no, ones. No, we didn't either. have CO2 ones then. We, we just started doing this. So we had dry chems because they were cheap. Mm -hmm. And this kid toggled off a fire extinguisher. He just leaned on it or something. I don't know. Um, the whole room filled <laughs> with the choking dust. So that's, that's like powdered marble. Yeah, it was bad. Me. It was bad. So we had to evacuate. We took all the kids out in the parking lot, but they still had like half an hour till their bus was coming. Mm -hmm. So we had to do something. So I did a half hour demo with a yo-yo, and there's like pictures of it. There might even be videos somewhere buried away. But I did a half hour demo 
because I finished the last half of the demo with just a yo-yo in my pocket. We talked about inertia, and we talked about physics. You're doing and Newtonian physics Yeah, we, we did basic Newtonian physics. And the kids had a blast, and we all had fun, and the teachers wrote, like, all the teachers wrote me letters saying, oh my god, that was the most amazing thing ever. I can't believe you did that. Uh, so, yeah, yeah we did that with the yo-yo. was phenomenal. Um, it was totally just pulling stuff out of my butt at that point. All right, um, here's a neat one. I, I have a little silicone rubber thing to hold it in there. This is, I'm not going to put the name on there because I don't want everybody in the world to know what these are, but uh, this is a, not a pen. <laughs> this is actually a set of lock picks. And uh, there's the tension wrench right there. And there's the picks right there, and there's a full set. And this is, it's basically a pin vise. You can unscrew the end and put that in there. And there's, there's your lock pick, just like that. Yeah, they got them all yeah, in it's, there. Yeah, it's a, it's a good comprehensive selection, and it's very handy to have. Uh, I use this a lot because I'm the guy that everybody calls when they lock themselves out of their house. And I originally started carrying a basic set of lock picks because back when I was still a field tech uh, for AI, we frequently would have to unlock computer rooms. It like, was a regular thing. And I don't know why, but like people would, especially companies, would put a lock on the computer room door. And then... And, cause, and it's usually just a closet buried away somewhere. Mm -hmm. And I have to be there after hours and stuff, and there's never the right guy around with a key, and it's a major pain. So I started carrying a basic set of picks, and well, you know, can I go in there? It's like, yeah, if we could just find a key, we could get in there. Well, hey, and now we're in, and I'm the really cool guy who can pick a lock. So that's always mm -hmm. fun. Um, so yeah, a set of lock picks is a handy thing to have. That's the, that's a, here's another backup flashlight. This is, this one's from Siba Vision. It's, this is actually, you'll see this light a lot. Office Max sells them for, or Office Depot. One of the office stores sells them for like $3 a piece. They're really craptacular, but it works good. It's just a button on the back. It's reasonably bright, and I'm big on flashlights. Uh, I carry a stylus up here, and that's just for palm pot and stuff. I actually started carrying that back when I used to carry my palm. Uh, I carry, this, this is a neat one. I'm getting into some pretty obscure stuff here. All right, I carry three waterproof matches, wax tipped, and then, <laughs> now this, this one, this is the one, I'll, I'll hang on, let me, let me pull out the other one first. Yeah for rationality. It's like I'm getting gear envy here yeah, because yeah, you're like yeah. fully decked out. It's right. like that is my Swiss Army knife. It is a standard generic, I think it's a Scout or the Tinkerer. I don't know which model it is, but it's, this is, and it'll, it'll make his day to know this. This Swiss Army knife is the one that my grandfather gave me when I was 12. It has been in my pocket every day since I was 12. That's yeah, cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it's a standard Swiss Army knife. The only thing I added on to it was I got the eyeglass uh, screwdriver that I put on there. But it's, it's got like, I don't know, a dozen tools or something. It's nothing unusual. It's got the toothpick and the tweezers. Um, now, other things that I put on here are, I got to get it, they frequently pops off in my pocket. You can get mini Sharpies this big. Mm -hmm. The mini Sharpies are the same length as a Swiss Army knife. Oh, yeah, that's cool. They fit perfect. So you just loop that through the thing. Now, also on here, I have uh, another, the third flashlight, which is a little, and you'll see it's got a little Screaming Flea on it. This actually came from a production company, uh, Screaming Flea Productions. They love us. And it has, here's now, here's some things where we're getting into trouble. Um, a little keys. ball chain. Always carry some ball chain on you. Really, really handy stuff. When the zombie apocalypse comes, mm -hmm. anybody who has a pocket full of ball chain is going to win. Okay. Absolutely. Um, now, here's, here's a couple fun toys. These are things you probably shouldn't have, and I just think they're cool. This is a security key for pretty much every public bathroom you've ever been in your life. The toilet paper holder, that's the key that fits it. Yeah. So when it's not feeding... When it's not feeding, I can just reach over and... Sh -sh -sh, so, yeah. You're, you're set. I'm prepared, man. You're prepared. I'm prepared. Now, the other one here is another high security key. And this is used almost exclusively for light switches. Um, Those little I've seen, things where it's yep, got like ever, two things with the slit. Yep, it's just a little slit. Like, if you ever see a light switch um, in your school or something where it's just like a little cover plate where the toggle would be, it's just a little toggle plate and there's a little slit. 
Yeah, that's that's for these. Um, and, and I have that key. It's not the only keys I carry on me. I have some other special keys, but we'll get into those later. Now, that's that's my regular Swiss Army knife, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> this is completely beyond reasonable. Yeah. That's my big Swiss Army knife. I don't have to say a damn thing. I'm just a, there's a regular Swiss Army knife. There's my big one right there. That's a whole video unto itself. And yeah, it's, it's engraved with my name because Vicky loves me. Um, I got this as a present from a future girl because mm -hmm. she loves me and she is awesome. She got me God's own Swiss Army knife. So yeah, it's, uh, it's massive. It has, I, I, could, I could open them all up and show you what stuff is in there, but really it has everything. Have, they can display a web page down yeah, here. Yeah, there's, there's, we'll do a video on it, is what okay. we'll do. We'll do, we'll do a dedicated video on this knife and just show people everything that's in there because it's absolutely insane. This is not the biggest Swiss Army knife they make. Really? There is one bigger, and it is, I swear to God, it's about that long. <laughs> Okay. It's like this one it's, here is yeah, this is on unusable. This is as big as you can get and have it used. It's actually very usable because it fits your hand really well. Okay. So if you pull out like, I don't know, the cocaine spoon. Um, they call it a spatula, but look at that. Come on, that's a Coke spoon. Totally. Uh, <laughs> Hack kids! Don't do drugs! <laughs> um, but <laughs> I'm going to take a moment. <laughs> Do you need a moment on that one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's got everything on here. And if you pull out something big like that, it fits your hand. Like, okay. Like, I've got pretty good sized hands, but it, it fits my hand. So All that's right. cool. Mm -hmm. um, but that's a big Swiss Army knife. And then I've got another Sharpie. So that's Sharpie number two. Another pen. And then I have this. this everybody asks about this. It's not a gun holster. I do not and never have carried a gun on this. Um, you're going to have to pan down. No, you can see it there. Okay. This is my e-holster. It is made by a company called e-holster, um, who really sucks. I ordered this years ago. Ordering anything from e-holster is a nightmare. Just, I'm really unhappy with e-holster as a rule. I carry, look, another ball chain right there. Yeah. Because you. you can't have enough ball chain. But this is just lots of little pockets and stuff. There's another mini Sharpie right there. So that's the e-holster. And now we get into, you know, the deeper meaningful stuff. Gerber's. That's mine. Gerber. Now, this is a Gerber 600 needle nose. Um, mine has the GJ4 blade. Now, yours is, is no, 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 that isn't it. That isn't the special one. This is a Scout. OK. Yeah, 600 Scout. And, and you have the GJ4 blade? That guy. Yeah. Now, this, no. this is hardcore. I, I cannot recommend these highly enough. I wish I could find a place to buy just that blade because they will cut through anything. If, if you, you can cut through a master padlock shackle with these. They're amazing. It is the best saw blade ever. These will fit it's a standard to come. Oh, it's, I'm jigsaw I'm blade. It from the wrong end. Yeah, there's a little, you got there to pull the thing aside. Yeah, there's, there's the blade. Rem Grit GJ4. They're great. Um, and the, the Gerber's, you can fit a standard blade there. So it, it just totally beats the hell out of the saw in uh, like a Swiss Army knife. Yes. Now the Gerber, Swiss Army knife has its place. A Swiss Army knife gives you a bunch of basic little tools and they're good and you should have one. But a, a Gerber 600 or whatever Gerber you choose to carry, get a Gerber. The, the Leathermans suck, the Sogs suck. I've carried them, I've tried them. I know it's a holy war. I know it's, it's, it's a religious thing as to what multi tool you carry. And by all means, carry whatever one works for you the best. Mm -hmm. But just know everything but Gerber sucks. Yes. That's. I, I particularly like the Gerber. <laughs> People sit there and say, well, you can't get the tools out of the middle without opening the thing up and, and flipping them out. Yeah, you but can. I just pop it right out. I know that. But they're saying you got to open the thing to get it. Well, the well, thing yeah, is... Yeah, it keeps that from opening you, in your pocket. Also, when you crank down because you really want to grip something, I don't want to have all the tools digging into the inside yeah, of my fingers. Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> or into your thumb over here. Now, if anybody out there wants to be like my hero of the year, you'll notice my Gerber is blue. They don't make them in blue anymore. I've had this Gerber since 1999. No, 2000. 2000. In 2001, I broke it at the uh, at the thon in the mall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I broke off. Now show yours. Show yes. yours. You you don't want to use. There's a straight blade screwdriver. This is you that's what it should look like. Straight blade, blade, blade screwdriver as a pry bar. Yeah. 
Bad I move. did. I was actually prying up the floor plate in the mall to mm -hmm. hook up the grounds for uh, Gemini. And no, it was Haruka. God, Haruka. that was a long yeah, time ago. Yeah, that was a long time. Um, so I broke mine off. I have never been able to find another Gerber 600 in blue. If you can find one, I would love you long time if you send me one. Yes. Um, or at least send me like info where I can buy one. I'd be happy to buy a couple, but the I can't find it. The other thing is, these are, we both have a, a Scout. That's a particular brand, and it has a pair of Fiskars yes. in it. Yes, and those and are very good. Are Damn those good are, scissors. Those are good for, you can use those for suture work. They're really, yeah, I, mean, I, that's, that's, I have removed sutures with my scissors on my Gerber. And, and yeah, they're, they're... From other people, too. From other people. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Amber! <laughs> No, I use I use I use that those scissors all the time. Oh, they're great, and yes. they're better than the Swiss Army knife scissors because they're much heavier duty, mm -hmm. and they don't do the little fold over with the spring. Right. Yeah. Now, with Swiss Army knives and Gerber's and all that, there's the the two most commonly called upon duties of any pocket knife tend to be a small pry bar mm -hmm. and opening packages. Yes. Which are actually the two worst things to use it for because if you use it to open packages and cut tape, your knife blade gets all gummy and gungy and it sucks. Mm -hmm. um, and using the screwdriver on them as a pry bar is a great way to damage your knife. So Gerber figured this out. Yep. And Gerber, who is not a sponsor, but really should be, that would be so came nice. up with this, the Gerber artifact. And that is the most one. You've got one too, don't you? I think I yeah. gave you one. Yes, you did. Because I love you. Look at that. There's Paul's. Mine's all, well, mine's all shiny and new. Yeah. Well, yours is like. That's because I'm a manly man, and I actually. Yours is like polished off from the Yeah, mine's, mine's got some pocket. mileage on it. All right. So this is what a Gerber artifact is. It has, first off, a pry bar with a cat paw. Um, you can use it for pulling finishing nails and stuff like that. You can use it for pulling big nails if you've got the time. Um, it's got a bottle opener because every single thing you put in your pocket's got a bottle opener on it. It's you notice you don't need them anymore? Every now and then I do. Like, I'll be hanging out with friends and that, and they'll need a bottle. It's pretty rare. But it's most, it's most, most, of, don't most bottles. And I don't drink, so it's useless for me. Yes. I drink Sprite. Um, most, most bottles that have metal caps now are twist off metal caps. Yeah, but it's got a big pry bar on the bottom with a good angle on it, and it's great for paint cans. Um, it's got the, 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 the opener. It's, I'll get there. I'm getting okay, okay. It's got on this end, this is kind of cool, a Phillips head screwdriver, which is really hard to find for basic pocket tools. Um, my Gerber has one, but for small in your pocket, Phillips head screwdrivers are hard to come by. And then the beautiful, wonderful X Acto blade. And that is, I think it's an 11, a standard X Acto blade. Yes, yeah. number 11. Mm -hmm. um, a standard number 11 X Acto blade, and you can lock this. Yeah, it it's locks. locked. And it's, the blade is replaceable, and it's, it's great because you've got this little knife that you can fit, and you can work it like a pencil and whatnot. It's great for opening mail and packages okay. and stuff like I that. I will say what you just did is something that I really recommend against. What? The, the lock mechanism you is that right, right there. there. You press it, and, and like that. be real careful closing this one-handed because I cut my finger, this finger here, twice. Oh, you hurt yourself with a razor knife? Yes. Really? Twice. The, the sympathy same, I have for you. In the oh, same day. You poor man. No, that's not the point. The point is, I hate your knife. Same point. Oh, we'll get to that <laughs> in a minute. But no, it's like I caught myself like that and cut my finger right there twice in okay. the same day. You know the first rule of riding a horse, right? You, you get right back on. No, you got to be smarter than a horse. You got to be smarter yeah. than a horse. Well, I would recommend against closing that one handed. I would recommend that you learn how to do it properly and not cut yourself. And if you do, well, stupid hurts. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the Gerber Artifact, they're 10 bucks. Um, around here in the Grand Rapids area, you can find them at Target. And oh my god, great. Just awesome thing. Get one, hang it on your keychain. They're fabulous. Does everything a Swiss Army knife won't. All right, now I carry a lighter. I don't smoke, but I do magic tricks. I need a lighter for that. Pocket money. I carry five, five, five ones, one five, one ten, one twenty, folded up in a wad. And a fistful of quarters, parking, whatnot. Mm -hmm. This is my beautiful, beautiful, the, the lab crew got me this years ago for a birthday present. It's a spider toe, and I love this. This is my climbing knife, and I've carried this with me forever. I, it's, it's a beautiful thing, and it's, you can open it one-handed like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's, it's wonderful. I don't know the name of it. I'm sorry, I'm sure 20 people are gonna comment in. Um, 
but it's a uh, it's it's a spider co the locking knife. mechanism on that it's is really cool it's a ball mm -hmm. and you pull the ball back now watch here watch the ball really close as it locks it slides up and then Beep. and then and it's rigid it's it ain't going anywhere yeah, it's great but this is it's it's a climbing knife you can just you clip it on and you can snap it open and and you're you're out of whatever situation you were stuck in mm -hmm. so yeah I, I use it as my climbing knife also I have my other little boot knife down here, which is this. It's a Gerber, little itty bitty baby Gerber. It's so cute. Handy little knife. With the line cutter built in. Yeah, it's got the line cutter built in. It's good. Mm -hmm. um, so that's my little Gerber knife. Um, what else? Oh, now this is this is an attitude adjustment wrench. You've heard of people that need an attitude adjustment. Well, that yeah. is, what is an attitude do. adjustment wrench. Um, this is an asp. And when you need to reach out and touch somebody, it's a, it's a beautiful thing to have. So that's that. Uh, I carry that when I'm out. And I, because the, this, is the, this is the last thing you pull before you pull a gun. Right. This thing, it's, you can really mess somebody up. You, uh, you teach somebody a lesson. Yeah, one this, this will shatter bone on contact. It's, it's a gnarly little toy. And I'm, I like them a lot. Um, also, I have my anti-mugging wallet. Yeah, what's your anti-mugging wallet? All right, so dude walks up to you and says, you know, give me your wallet. Okay. You don't want to, you know, draw on them right away. This gun is the last possible thing. See, you, you have your anti-mugging wallet. Mm -hmm. I don't carry mace. I don't carry pepper spray. I got a wallet that shoots fire. So you take this, and uh, when they ask you for your wallet, you take it out and be like, hey, man, here, and toss it in their face. It works great. Um, but this <laughs> it's, it's my fire wallet. It's a good thing to have. It's actually a, a magic trick thing. So here, take off that. Now I also have the mini camera, which is a PowerShot SD1400 IS. It, this one is the one that died recently. I'm nursing it along. It still functions for the most part. Uh, and then I carry a couple bucks emergency cash. Another wad. Here. Another, another yeah. little wad of cash. And then I've got thumb drive number one which is a uh, uh, Gen 2 live CD. And then... <laughs> Ball chain. Ball chain. Good. There's a couple meters of it here. But it's, it's heavy ball chain. This is actually the kind they use inside toilets. Um, but it's, it's a good two meters of ball chain. <laughs> it's Mardi Gras! Mardi Gras. Take it off, baby! Take it off! All right. Um, <laughs> What else do I have? I gotta, I gotta get into pockets at this point. Okay, I got my cell phone. Kids these days. All right, I got my cell phone, which is a LG Rumor. It's kind of a girly phone, but I like it. There. Um, I can't take everything out of my pockets because there's certain magic trick stuff that I just am not gonna ruin for people. Uh, Altoids, Altoid Smalls. They actually are mints. It's not an amplifier or anything. I'm a mint junkie. Um, that's a habit from back when I was a smoker. And then thumb drive number two, which is just generic stuff I need to carry around. And then this one is a uh, um, Ubuntu live CD. I do not have any of the special ones on me that okay. are in my daily carry right now. And we're not going to talk about those on, okay. on this video. That being um, the case, I won't bother getting my key to it. Okay. Um, and <laughs> then more quarters. Just uh, I carry uh, four quarters in my key pocket. And then... Mm, heard something there. Ma <laughs> Shut up, Paul. Um, and then... <clears throat> there are a lot of other things in my pocket that I'm not going to pull out because I'm a magician and I'm not going to ruin tricks for the general public. It's not considered couth. Mr. Kidwell knows the back behind the scenes on a couple tricks and he's a pain in the butt. Um, all right, I'm going to hide some data there. That is my concealed carry license right there and it's good till 2012. And there's my dorky, yeah. Um, and then I've got my, I really don't want to share my phone number with the world, but I have two different business cards. There's, uh, there's one of my cards. This is my personal card. And on the back, people get a kick out of this. That's the quote on the back of my business cards. And then I have my uh, official geek group business cards right there. So got those. And I have exactly two bank cards. I have a business one and a personal one. I have no idea how much is in either account. I've got a whopping... You're like loaded, man. Oh, yeah, I'm loaded. I got... 
I got 140 bucks in my wallet, um, and that's pretty much every, well, everything on here is every dollar I have in my name. And then I have my driver's license, which I'm totally going to hide, but you guys can see my super dorky driver's license picture. That's me. Yeah, it looks like the mongoloid version of Carrot Top. Uh, oh, hang on, I gotta talk about this, because you're gonna love this. This is, this is where Paul's going to have a moment of happiness. Carry that in my wallet. Pull yours out. I know you got one. I know you're holding. Now this is, I, I carry this in my wallet. It is the Bill of Rights Security Edition. And Mr. Kidwell has one because I got him one because I love this man. Um, <laughs> don't do that. that needs to get it's got to it's gotta have the curve of your butt. Um, but this is, it's, it's a piece of ferrous metal. It's printed on steel. And uh, it is printed on steel specifically so that it trips up metal detectors. Mm -hmm. And uh, the idea is my wallet will set off metal detectors. I can take all this crap off and my wallet will set off metal detectors. And you pull this out and be like, oh yeah, yeah. And uh, it has the Bill of Rights on it, the, the entirety of the Bill of Rights, and the Fourth Amendment is in red. Now for those of you who failed civics class, the Fourth Amendment is the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrant shall issue but upon probable cause supported by oath or affirmation, and particularly describing the place to be searched and the persons or things to be seized. It's just me being a pain in the ass, really, because I have a problem with people that are only in authority because they wear the red paper hat. And yeah, so I just put that in there because it's my little way of sticking it to the man and being a pain in the butt. Um, what else do I have in here that's interesting? Oh, here's a neat little thing. Handcuff key. If you're going to carry handcuffs, carry at least two keys secreted somewhere on your person. If you ever, and I don't care what it's for, but if you ever get arrested and have a handcuff key hidden on your person, don't use it. <laughs> May angels and ministers of grace have mercy upon your soul. Because if the you police use it. officer won't. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can, it is entirely possible to buy a handcuff key for five bucks that will work on handcuffs that the police use and undo your own handcuffs if you get arrested. <laughs> if you do this, please have a friend shooting video because I want to watch you get beat down. Um, you're going to learn yep, such was... things as the wonderful feeling of a crack of a gun butt against your lower jaw, um, the taste of pepper spray. <laughs> You've never had sinuses so clear <laughs> as you're going to have immediately after they've emptied a can of CS up your nose. And you've got it coming. So don't mess with the cops, man. They got a bad job. They spend their whole life seeing people on the worst day of their life, so just don't do that. Yeah, that's, that's... Don't do that. At the same time, if you carry a pair of handcuffs and don't have two keys secreted on your person, it's only a matter of time before one of your dirtbag friends is going to handcuff you to a chair, and you're going to get real hungry. <laughs> not that that's ever happened to me. Of course not, because I'm never wrong and I never lie. But it could happen, so always have two keys. Yeah, yeah, sure. And you'll notice I'm only showing where one of the secret keys is. Yes. Yeah, there, there is a key in my wallet. I won't tell you where the other one is, because you're bigger than I am and have a twisted sense of humor. So, it's like yeah. a chair you can carry Shut with up. you. No, you can't. Sure Not all of can. them. Not I would have done it to a tree, but that's just me. <laughs> it wasn't a chair, but it's a family show, so I'm being nice. Ah, okay. That reminds me, how's your wife and my kids? But I... <laughs> I found Angela's business card. I lost that like six months ago. I didn't know I had it. Really? Yeah, I got Angela's business card. Okay. I can't talk to her. She never loved you. <laughs> You're mine! No other woman shall have you! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's another thing we should address. While we're doing the monthly wrap-up and answering viewer mail and all that, um, while I appreciate the non-trivial amount of adoring fan mail that I get from the boys. Um, guys, I'm straight. I'm very straight. Will you quit laughing? Okay, Corey's gonna fall off his chair because Corey isn't. But I, <laughs> but I, am, I am every inch a man, very straight, like the girls, and I'm okay, cool with that. Okay, wait a minute, are you and saying Corey's not? 
Corey's every inch a man. He just likes men. Okay. Yes. Just and be, be, be clear that's in his what thing, you're saying. And I don't mind at all. Corey's great. Um, actually, of the of the staff members, the, the those of us that are straight are very much in the minority. <laughs> this is true. Man, it's the gay agenda. They're taking over. Awesome. There will be sparkle cookies at the end. Um, <laughs> I totally support the gay agenda, man. I, I DJed in a gay bar for three years, so I'm very comfortable around it. And I harass Paul incessantly because it makes him crazy. Um, so yeah, but I'm, I'm very straight. Paul and I are not deeply in love. Paul is married to an evil and horrible woman who hates me with the passion of a supernova, and I'm oh, okay now, with you know, that. I can't show this um, to the kids now. I'm fine. Hi, kids. We love you. Paul's kids are great, but his wife is evil. Evil. <laughs> evil. Um, You're editing this part No, out, I'm right? not. Oh, man. I'm not. I don't care. I, she can hate me all she wants. Hi! <laughs> she ruined his life, and for that, she gets to suffer. And if she wants to hate me for that, I don't care. But uh, yeah, Donna, I hate you a lot. Um, but me, I'm, uh, I'm just me. I am a lover of all the women. I am God's gift to women. You can tell. <laughs> I'm <laughs> about, my goal in life is to be the Dos Equis guy. Dos oh, yeah. Have you ever seen that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So far, not so much. I tried the whole staring contest with myself thing. Mm -hmm. It didn't end very well. I could imagine, yeah. yeah. I, 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 went to, I tried to go something more cerebral, played chess with myself. I lost. So yeah, it was, it was bad. You play chess with yourself all the time. You won't play chess with me. No, I won't. Yeah. That'd be fun. You live your entire life trying to get me to say three words, one of which I can't say in this show. But you know, yeah, it's, <laughs> no, no. But Paul and I are not gay lovers. He is my best friend in the world. Um, will you try not? He, Corey's going to fall out of his chair laughing. This is hilarious. <laughs> but yeah, Paul is married. I am not. I am a billionaire playboy philanthropist. Wanna um, be? It's working for me. I'm, I'm, my, my goal in life is to be like Bruce Wayne MacGyver. That's, that's what I'm going for. Oh, hey, I, all right. Show your stuff, like go through your pocket. I gotta get something, I forgot something. I forgot get my, my thing. keys while I'm get your, Okay, I'll get your keys, no, I'll be right back. I, gotta, I, gotta, I just thought of something. <coughs> it was the Batman con comment that reminded me. Okay, we get to go through my stuff. So the first thing we have is my, Ger my uh, Gerber. It's a Scout, we've already been showing this. And I also have an artifact, which we also had out. Um, let's see. While he's gone, this is the knife that scares him to death. It is a cobalt. I got it at Lowe's. The nice thing about it is it's got a box cutter with the uh, removable razor blade. And it's a uh, lock blade. It's one hand open, which is great. They have two different versions of this knife. Uh, the other version has the knife blade on this side where you can flip it open. This one, it's got the little notch, well here, the little notch to get it out. And if you really stick your thumb in there, you can open it and you can close it with one hand. But this blade here is the one that scares you. Are you talking about that death knife? The yes. evil one? The, the, These are very the skin nice of duck and, knife? Yes. This has, and the bad part about this is the nib to open it is it's great if you're left handed, but I'm not. And trying to close, open and close this one handed, I mean, are you going to use your finger, your index finger? You can do it. But that's the blade that makes duck hate this oh, knife. It's evil. Evil. And it's a great line cutter. I mean, the solutions <laughs> on that are serious. So, I, uh, I, I got your keys. You got my keys. Now, I, I'd like to show the world, these are my keys. Okay. Now, I own, well, the Geek Group owns, I work for the Geek Group. We have the big truck, 20-foot box truck. We have the pickup truck. Um, we have Geek Mobiles 1 through 7. Yeah. Um, we have two different buildings and a house. Mm -hmm. I personally own two cars and a motorcycle. Yeah. That is my keys. Mm -hmm. This, Mr. Kidwell, who doesn't 
drive any of the big vehicles, who doesn't have keys to any of the Geekmobiles that I know of, who may have a key to the lab. I do. And probably one to the house here. No, you don't. You don't, you don't, have a I don't think I have a house key. So you have a key to the lab. You don't have a key to the studio. Right. None of the Geekmobiles. That's right. And this giant <laughs> abortion is your key ring. Oh, yeah. Always more than my bike. Yeah. Well, let's see. It's just not rational to have. What the see. hell? And I'm the guy who just put this on the table. And I have the keys to my car with my Starbucks card, so I can get my. I got my quad shot this morning. Okay. That's why I'm so mellow. I got keys to my Suburban. I got both fobs because they're dead and I need to open them up and solder some bits to get the batteries to work again. House keys. House keys. You, hang on. House keys with an ace lock. Outside screen door. Outside door. First lock door to get to the gun room. Key to the gun room. Key to the gun safe. They're in order. Okay. okay. So that set gets me from the outside of the house to my weapons. Okay. And these are a couple other locks I got floating around the house. Okay. So let's see. What else do we got here? That's cute. That's a that's a lock, a gate. Really? I hadn't figured that, that out. It's a key. It goes in a lock? No, as in wow. a, a lock to a gate for my backyard. This oh. actually should be on the house keys. Okay. But these what, are the work why keys. Why are there holes in that one? In what one? Oh, there was a plastic thing that oh, fit on okay. there that I, I've fell never off. Seen that it was like Very red cool. plastic on either side. Oh. Anyhow, that's the outdoor key. That's the secretary's office. Uh, that's my tool kit. That's the Coca-Cola machine. You get a key to the pot machine? I'm the owner of the business. I'm the one that stocks the pop machine. A key to the pop machine. And then that's a key to the crib, and that's a key to the back door to the building. So those are my let work me, keys. Let me make sure. The world's best dad key ring, the square one that says Medico on it. That's, mm -hmm. So it's the world's best dad key ring. It's a square Medico one. Now here, I'll take that key right there. That's the key. That's the end of the key. What, you're thinking people are going to copy it so they can break into my Coca-Cola machine? No, I'm thinking I know how big my finger is, and I can measure my finger and copy off for your key. So, see, I can just go so like that. So you're going to raid my Coca-Cola machine. I don't think they're universal keys. It doesn't have to be a universal key. I can raid your Coke machine. I know it, it's not a universal finger either, but I know how big my finger is. And now that, I can go to the video, step by step it through the video, and go, oh, okay, well, my finger's that big. And get out, just reach back behind me here, get a pair of calipers. See, and now I can say, okay, well, my finger on this day at this time was exactly, well, here, let's see where the calipers. See, this is science in action. All right, we're zero. Knowing how much you travel, why don't you just measure the actual key? This is more fun. You have fun. Okay, my finger is six, five, six, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, this is the key ring of keys that I'm not certain what they all are. I have, from my Craftsman toolkit, I have my little flat blade screwdriver thingy which is convenient. Uh, these are keys. That's a lab key right there. Hey, hey, and I believe that's another lab key yeah, for sorry. another door there. Okay. You got your measurements? Yeah, I got, I got a good picture of it too. I need and batteries for this. These keys, that, I know that one's, that one's my briefcase. That one's a lock to my gate. I have a couple other locks around the house. So there's a couple of keys on here that I'm not certain what they're for, but okay. I carry them but around. You but have, you have an insane amount of keys. These are the only ones I'm I have. I'm sure the world doesn't care what all your keys are. But. About three or four of these are extra keys that I don't really need to carry. I just have them on the off chance I come across a lock that I should have a key to. What's this for? That's one of the ones I don't know. Okay, I have a, do I have a very similar key like that for my motorcycle, which is why I was asking. So what else you got? You've got... Okay, then we get the right, electronics. Are, well, what's it, read what it says on there. Um, it says Fort it's, Lock, Chicago, Illinois. So that's, that's not like a normal copy no, key. No, this is that's, a handmade key. It's got hand, the, hand stamped numbers on the back. Okay. Like, like separately, individually stamped hand stamped numbers. That's actually kind of rare. 
Okay. Then we have the electronics fob. Okay. All right. And I have some pictures of the kids, which the battery's probably dead. I don't even know how to turn it on. I haven't, they gave that to me. The kids gave you that? The kids gave me that. So I'd have pictures of them. Okay. Anyhow. Um, you have a World of Warcraft thing because you're a dork? Definitely. I have a B1. Okay, that's cool. That's my favorite. <laughs> that's, that's cool. I really like strategic heavy bombers. All you right. are a strategic I wanted heavy bomber. To be, I saw the movie Dr. Strangelove, and you got James Earl Jones, a uh, bomb fusing master safety on electronic barometric timed and impact, and I wanted to do that job. I wanted to enlist that, that was, because of that movie. Really? Absolutely. Oh, hell yeah. I don't know how I feel about the fact that Dr. Strangelove was the movie you, you made you want to enlist. You ever see that movie? Yeah! Okay, forget the generals, forget the politicians. <laughs> the scenes in the B-52. That was awesome. We're doomed. And the cool thing is, what you saw Strangelove, because you're older than I am, way, way, way older than I am. You saw Strangelove when it came out. I didn't go to the theater to see it, but I saw it shortly after. Okay. So you wanted to enlist because you saw that movie in a time when we were having things like the Cuban Missile Crisis and, and you know, all that jazz. Yeah. I, you're, you're Vietnam era. Yeah. Yeah. I, I grew up during the Vietnam era, absolutely. Yeah. If I was four yeah. years older, I would have been drafted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was born like when the last dude left Vietnam. Yeah. I was, I was just a twinkle in somebody's eye. So, yeah. My, my dad so came I, home I, from I, Nam I and he up, had me. I, w I grew up when things were a lot more serious than they yeah, are now. Yeah, I, I, you grew up with like bomb shelters in people's yards. Duck and, and cover, Duck man. and cover and oh, all yeah, that Oh, yeah, I remember duck and cover. Yeah, that, I, that was, a, that I was a, You have fire drills at school now. We had duck and cover drills. I remember Freddie Mercury dying. You know, that was the band. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> yeah. All right, so. He had a voice. We're not done with that. What we else do you have? We, we, got, we can't we talk got. about those. We can't, we talk, can't about talk about those. those. I don't want the word. That's, that's. This is some of the coolest stuff I've ever done, It is done, absolutely man. some of the coolest stuff we've ever done, and that is too dangerous for us to put with our audience out in the wild. There's no way. No. It's, there are some things the world should not know. And you know I'm right. Do you want every 16-year-old kid in America to know that exists? No, no, Thank no, you. No. Okay, and finally, <laughs> that's what holds it all. Which is the mankiest, heaviest, gigantic carabiner SM in the history of God and country. SMC, there's, you know, there's no numbers on it. It's, yeah, it's so old it doesn't have safety ratings on it. Look at that. I, I don't, I, I've never heard of SMC as a brand. It is a gigantic, huge it oval is, beaner you can with see a manky gate. You can see it's aluminum now, Yeah, but it's off of everything. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely not steel. It felt like steel for a second. And, but the only company I know that made ever made steel beaners was Omega. Okay. And they're they're kind of distinctive, but yeah, it's it's a big ugly ass carabiner. I just wow. I'm a rock climber, and I see that thing and went. Ugh. So all right, let's let's do big oh, pile, little well, pile. Let me, what else do we got? I got a little pile. Hold on. Let me this up. Put all the other thing, on. the other thing that this is convenient for is that if you ever have to move, you can carry everything on one belt loop. It's not so much that. It's that when you get out of your car, you put your hand through like that and just walk. <laughs> Because you're worried about somebody picking a fight with you. Because you're such a dainty, it's petite little thing. You're so delicate. It's okay. I'll the art you. of deterrence is the, no. What is it? The art of the, deterrence is the art of creating in the mind of the enemy the fear to attack. Okay. So you're big, you're burly, and you got brass knuckles in your hand already. You're six and a half feet tall and weigh 350 pounds. Do you really think, I mean, come I on. I do not weigh, weigh Okay, not anymore. now. Yes, you, you've lost a little bit of weight. The equivalent of me. 140 yeah. pounds. I lost you. Yes, yes. You, you have lost an entire me. But still, up until recent history, you were six and a half feet tall and weighed 350 pounds. I was six foot tall and weighed 368. Okay. Dainty little thing, you ain't. This is true. <laughs> Oh, oh, you forgot something. What did I forget? The, what do I mock you for incessantly? The file cabinet on your ass. Oh. Yeah, God. yeah, we're going to talk about that. Okay, okay. we're going to, yeah, just, just put it right there. Show the world. 
Yeah, you gotta turn it sideways. So because right now all you've done is block okay. the sun. Show them how thick your freaking okay. wallet is. Okay, here's my wallet, which is fat. Like I have, I have generic. Here, we're gonna we can't we can't even use the macro cam. It's that big. Okay, <laughs> here's my wallet. Okay, this is a generic. All American wallet, right? It's 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 actually a nice one. My grandma got it for me. It's a, a relic brand. Thank you, grandma. I love you. See, that's that's see, she's so sweet. She is. Grandmas get your wallets, okay? That's my wallet, okay? This. Ah! Ah! Is Kidwell's wallet, okay? You, to start with, you're holding it wrong. It's a brick. This is a trifold wallet. You have to hold it properly, so you have to lift no, with your knees. The, 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 the relevant feature is this is where it opens, this is where your money goes. It's yeah. that tall. Okay. I got this in England, where the money's bigger. Because it your opens ass is like bigger. this. Okay. okay. It's deeper. That wasn't the part I was made, I had a problem with. The part right. I had a problem with, look at it from end, okay? Look at okay. that. Okay, well, let's. It's a brick. It's a brick. You don't, don't take everything out. It's just you You have too much crap in your wallet. It's that simple. I don't want to hear it. I, you can't put them on the thing. Cause yeah, I know, because there's... If nasty you want to give the world your credit card numbers, I'll sit back and watch the phone. That would but. be bad. It's like, and you can't even show the backs because they got the yeah, magic they, number. Yeah, they, they got stuff. But, but you have... I got the company card. I got the main bank card. I got the, the Starbucks gold card. They have a gold card? Oh, yeah, it's like you, you have 15 drinks and you get a free one. Whatever you want. Okay. It works for me. Okay. Hey, I got you your scone this morning, so you don't did. complain. I'm not mocking your Starbucks addiction. But, but, it's like... You're, Kidwell's a step away from having, like, a, a bag That one don't work anymore, ID. does it? Okay, then you don't need no, it. No, no, right, look there. what it is. Yeah, that one doesn't work anymore. No. That's an old AI card. Yes, it is. Yeah, that's, that's dead. It's like, an, I got a PayPal card, and it's like... We'll use that for teaching people how to, you know, jimmy a door lock right, with it. I'm missing one. Yeah, it's over here. No, 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 no. I'm missing the important one. What? Well, there's one that's got, got it. <laughs> there's a distinct possibility, and well, you already trashed this video, so I can't show it to her, but um, she's got the one that's got a $50,000 limit and a zero balance right now. Yeah, you're screwed. <laughs> you're screwed. <laughs> the cool thing is, by the time she could possibly see this video, you'll be home and she'll be back in her cage in the basement and you can have the card safely tucked away. Yes. But... <laughs> oh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Hi Java, how you doing? I... God, I hate her. Okay, we will cover up the pertinent information. Oh yeah, yeah, show them, no, do it, do it sideways. Do it that yeah, way. here, let me, let me make sure it's all covered here. Okay. Just, oh God! Yeah, that's... Wow! Oh! That's an avatar, right there. That's... Yes, I look substantially different You now. fat bastard. <laughs> What's really neat is I get, it's like the girls at the cash registers when they want to see your ID. I get comments about that. It's like, wow, you lost a lot of weight. You, you, he lost a whole me. Yeah. He really did. So congratulations on that, Paul. I should bring my That's, belt in someday, because I, I no, can't... Bring the pants in, do the Jared thing. I, I, We'll, we'll make a raft with a sail out of a pair of your old trousers. It'll be great. I, I got, well, we, we used my Geek Group shirt as a flag once. Yeah, I remember that. I had a Forpal Extra Large Geek Group shirt. A what? Forpal. Forpal? Well, it's like double, triple, Forpal. Forpal? Forpal. Not even a word. It is now. Not e quadruple? I will quadruple, accept. Okay, quadruple extra. Quad XL, large. something like that. Forpal? Forpal. Yeah. Oh, well, who's Get out! Stop that! Forpal. Hold on, I got some. I got some. I got some historical items here as well. You probably got crap in there. It has to be carbon dated. You haven't thrown a thing away okay. since you were twelve. Um, I mean, it's one thing to carry the same Swiss Army knife since I was a kid. You haven't ever taken a single thing out of your wallet. This is what a birth certificate used to look like a million years in ago. In the year dot. Yes. And well, you were I was born, born in 1960. Yes, I was. Wow, you are old. And. Uh, I've, you can't feel it anymore, but there was an embossed seal right in there. Might be able to get it in the It's corner. probably been in his wallet since 1960. Uh, well, I didn't carry a wallet in 1960, but that has gotten me through customs. Really? Yes. That's my, one of my weapons. There's the other weapon. Okay, you, you've got your little safety certificate. I'm not going to put these on there, but... I got my, so I got my original social security card, too. As opposed to the fake one you got no, from Louis? The, the one I got when bag? I was 16 years old. Okay. And then... I've never gotten another one. 
Well, I still carry, I carry it in my wallet. And I got my uh, two CPL cards. The original, okay. I, I, I laminated the one. I should probably, mine is laminated. I'm not laminated. Yes, but these are what they used to look like a long time it ago. It has a thumbprint on the back. Yes, it does. You used to get thumbprinted. Oh, you still get thumbprinted, but mine isn't on my no, card. No, they, 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 they literally. Look at this. Look at this. Hang on, hang on. There's a card here. What is this? It's the same question. You have a library card from 1976, Indeed. okay? Yep. I carry all my stuff. You have a library card in your wallet from 1976. Uh-huh. Yeah, what's the problem? Okay, when I mentioned you never throw anything away, you're like a wallet hoarder. Have you seen the TV show Hoarders? Okay, you're there. Yeah. You're a wallet hoarder. You have a library card. I swear to look at that. People would not believe me. You have a library card from 1976 in your wallet. Dude. <laughs> Elvis was still alive. Yeah. Ah, what, is, what is this? Okay. What? You. What is this? What's it look like? I have no idea. It expired after 90 days in 1993. Yeah. I don't know what it is. That's my advanced open water patty. I don't know what patty is. Oh, Professional Association of Divers. Oh, see, I don't know how to swim, so it really you don't know not to swim. No, I don't know how to swim. Yeah, I live in Michigan. I don't know how to swim. Shut okay. up. But, I'm okay, okay. I'm an Let's, No, hang on. We have a card okay. here. Certification date, 1993. Okay, 102493. Expires after 90 days. Okay, so it's I, 2010, Paul. There's the real one. Okay, you see, it's been superseded by the real one, and you still have this in your wallet. Yeah. You have a problem. <laughs> the first step is admitting you have a problem. I don't have a problem. You have, you have, oh man, it's gonna be a video, okay? It's gonna be a video of cleaning the shit out of your wallet. We have to do this because we're, we'll get like, we'll do it like they do it. Vicky made me watch this Hoarders show because mm -hmm. apparently she says I am too much of a pack rat. And I saw Hoarders. Oh, you're a piker. Yeah, I know. I, I, I saw Hoarders, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm doing just too. fine. What is that? Uh, Your redneck a, affiliation card? The, no, the, to get the uh, CCW law passed in Michigan, okay. this was the organization that did it. Oh. And they did a big brass plaque that had the Second Amendment and Article 1, Section 6 embossed oh. on it, made okay. out of bullet brass. Oh, well, and it was thank like you a guys. big four foot by three foot brass plaque. They gave it to the state of Michigan. Okay, and why is that still in your wallet? With the cap of the, 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 the legislatures in the state of Michigan refused to hang it in the why state is capital. Why that still in your wallet? It's a membership card. I didn't show the other side. All right, now, let's take a look. We'll do a little pile comparison here. This is my pot. What else you got? Just my phone. We Just already saw phone. that. Okay. And this? And, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, you've got the Uber Gerber. You've yes, got the I Uber Gerber. Got the, I'm going right, to off my belt. Let's, I'll move my pile over I here. Mean, it's too big for the macro. <laughs> so it's like, it yeah, is, it is I was too having big for the macro. gear envy, but it's like I forgot about the Uber Gerber. Yes. Now he wears this on his belt. I yes. Okay. We start out. I believe the battery is still good. Yes, it's a my now flashlight. This, this is this is a mini mag LED. Yeah, I replaced with the, the roll ring. Yeah, I replaced the the. Uh, oh, you did a retrofit. I did so a retrofit. So this was originally a light. It was originally an incandescent lamp, and I put the uh, I put the LED on it. Okay, that's and nice. And it's. It's nice because it's a nice solid spot where you don't have the little curly cue yeah. in the middle from the, the lens focusing. Okay. So, All right, I so like that's that your light. light. That's my light. You only carry one flashlight. I only carry the one flashlight. This is my Uber Gerber. This is a 650. They don't make it anymore. I have one, but I don't have the You don't have the, the full pouch. set. Yeah. Well, that's a serious set of cutters. And it will cut battery cable. Oh, it will you gotta cut want battery to. cable. I, I have now, seen you fold yourself in knots trying to cut way too much with those. But okay, yeah. I busted my little bottle opener oh. as well. What were you praying? Uh, I don't even remember on that. <laughs> oh, I got it. Oh, we got so we got other Gerbers to show too. Okay. But, oh yeah, we got to show we got to show the, yes. the Gerber. Now, the neat thing about this one are these little tabs right here. If you push on either side. The jaws come out, and the reason why. And you get ninja nunchucks. <sighs> yeah, yeah. The reason why the jaws come out is because they have different sets of jaws. 
Here's a set of jaws that have a carbide insert in them. And there's there's actually two of those. There's one yeah, on each well, Oh, you one. broke it! You know how I broke it? You, pretty well is how you broke it. No, the second time I cut the fish tape. Okay. Hello. I'm, I'm with you. I'm going to fix you. Do you, re do you remember the fish tape? Yeah. I, I remember use, the fish I tape. I used the carbide cutters to cut a fish tape with one, one hand. You said we were never going to talk about that, Paul. You promised me we were never going to talk about that. And now we're talking about it, we're talking about it on camera. Didn't I say we we're never going to talk about the you fish tape? You got it on camera. And have you ever seen the video of that? It ever? was online. Ever? No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Not the actual happening. No. That's right. You did the, You had yeah. me do it again. Yeah. I cut it once. And oh, I wasn't talking about that. I was talking about why we had to cut the fish tape. Oh, 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 the previous one. Yes. Yeah. No, there was, there was something happened. But that wasn't me. But you need and there's to, no video of that. No, there, you need. But no, we we actually have video of Paul. We're not gonna talk about it. Okay. We're not gonna talk about it. it never happened. Okay? Never happened. Never happened because I am never wrong, and I never lie. And that whole day never happened. So yeah, you've you've got you. Uh, there's actually a video. I'll will see if I can find it because it's really cool. Paul, with his dainty petite little delicate arms, cut a fish tape. <clears throat> a standard, you know, ideal fish tape, with his Gerber. Yeah. The se I cut it once. It's like cutting a chunk off a, a, a steel suspension bridge yeah. with you know a pair of bolt cutters. It's it's an amazing feat to be able to do that. Well, I did it once, and it shocked you so much that you wanted me to do it again on video. So you got your camera out and said, "Here, go do it again." And the first time around, I centered, I centered the fish tape in the middle of the carbide cutter. The second time, there's like a little notch, and I, I had it offset, so it was towards the back, and it, it torqued the one triangle here too much on one side, and that's what made it crack. Yeah, you actually broke the tungsten carbide cutter trying to cut a fish tape. Yeah, well, I succeeded in cutting the fish yeah, tape yeah, twice. Now, also, there's other things in here. There's uh, wire stripper holes and grabbers. Now, show me the other heads. This is, this is the, the needle nose, the long head. Okay, this, okay, we'll, say, we'll save that one for later. This okay, one that's a standard this, bullnose head. That's the that's the serious set of jaws. Yeah. Well, that's that's what my no yours yours come with the needle nose. Yeah, my my other Gerber has these. Well, yeah. Um, my my one like this has these two jaws. I, I've got the, okay, the duck got, bills and I've got those on my on my six fifty. You got you got the carbide. Yeah, I've got. Them. I didn't know that, but that's that's comparison to the regular needle nose. Yeah, the the duck bills with the carbide inserts are great. So, do you have another set of jaws? I got one more set of jaws. Together. This is the special one. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's that for? I know what it's for. Uh, it's my granddaddy. at home. Can my you? granddaddy used to use his teeth to do that. Job. Really? Yes. He's a pretty hardcore guy. He was a very hardcore. All right. You want you want to tell the world what that is? That is a set of crimpers for a blasting cap. No, well, don't hold it there. If you're gonna hold yeah. it up, hold it up there and see. He's Corey's half asleep back there because mm -hmm. he passed out laughing already. So we'll come down here. No, but, but, no, but that's yeah, those the, are you, those you, are crimpers you, you, for a blasting cap. You put the the fuse into the blasting cap, and that would crimp the cap onto the fuse. So you have uh, one other bit of Gerbery goodness. Oh, I, think I, I, I got I got other important things. I okay. carry the around the Citizens' Rulebook, the Declaration of Independence, Constitution, and Bill of Rights. It's like whenever you ask me a question, that's what I this pull is, out. This is where you're going. I, I, I keep it with me. I can quote chapter and verse if I have to. Okay, I don't I don't really like the back of this so much. It's got quotes from historical figures. Yeah, my problem is the okay, only it's historical. It's got Leviticus on the front. The and first Isaiah thing. and Hosea and and Second Chronicles and Acts. I'm I'm totally okay, fine okay, with okay, you know okay. people having. Chick tracts or whatever, but when you start combining the, guns, God, and government, I mm, things get weird in a hurry. The story that's in the beginning is about um, what Thomas Paine, I think. Okay. There was a whole thing where he was watching a jury trial in England, actually, okay. and uh, the jury refused to convict the person that was on trial, and the judge basically arrested the jury and put him in jail until they came back with a guilty verdict. Okay. They refused to. Get out the hey, I'm still, there's, there's yes, stuff there's, there is stuff. Is, was, yeah. You want to uh, show that off? Yeah, I'll show that off. Okay, I lost the little nut that's out of there. It happens. And, you can order just and the nut. I know, I'm, I'm okay. planning on doing that, but um, 
That's the tension tool. And it's hold, got... Hold it over because I don't want... Oh, you don't want yeah. the company name. You can... They're you not can, a sponsor. They're not... They should they be. They should be. <laughs> but there's a set... Of, you got a, you got an uh, extractor and then four different picks. Yes, notice there is a difference between the extractor here and the diamond pick here. Yes, I use the diamond pick all the time. I used to use the snake for everything. Now I've switched over to the diamond pick and use that for everything. Really? Yes. And the, I, I need more locks. All the ones you gave me, it's like it's the, the, <laughs> they hold no secrets for me now. Okay. Okay. So yeah, that's, I have that's lock pick set. I have various and that? sundry measuring things. Measure your savings with Vonage. Yeah, yeah. Um, I got a nice little tape measure. I don't know who USI is, but that my father. That he really was one of the little. Is this something from like the seventies? You know, well, you know how companies send out things with their phone number and their company name and logo on it. Well, that's what that is. So it's it's seventy two inches, and I have disposable ones from IKEA. They have these things like disposable laying, tape measures. Yeah, hold on. There's and a, yet I'm not going to take. Them. I'm not going to take them out. How many tape measures do you have? There's like three. There's three so far. Uh, yeah, there's three in this little bundle. And but, you've got uh, three there, so you got five total. Yeah. It's like these. You have five can, different tape measures in your pocket. Yeah. Well, six, seven, eight. Okay, well, that may nine. be long enough for you. It's not for me. So I will allow you, you know, carrying like this. Okay, that's that makes sense. That's cool. This is kind of like, that makes sense. That's a machinist rule. That's nice. Yep. And that should be plenty long enough for you. I but, got, you know, for just. I got my. Now. No. Oh, wow. That's. Look at the old. logo. Yeah, that's. Old. I lost I lost my toothpick. But I have the tweezers. You're screwed. Yeah, they don't have nails. That's it's it's not that you lost the toothpick, it's that you lost a sixties or maybe even seventies vintage toothpick. These are they're totally different than mine. Yes, they are. Wow, that's terrifyingly old. Mm hmm That's probably been in your pocket since you now, were twelve. The nice thing I like that's a can opener. It is a can opener. Yeah, I've that got one is. Of mine. Yeah, no, hold on. I've never used one of my. I don't care it. what you say. That's not a can opener. You can try, but that sucks as a can opener. Because I tried using that once. Get pull your Swiss Army knife out. Do you got you got one like that, or you got one like it's that? Over here. Because that one's pretty old. Because they changed the design. Ah, you got one of them. You ever use that? Yeah, all the time. That works so much better. Okay. This you're pushing. Yeah, but this you get a screwdriver. And I use a screwdriver more than I use a okay. can opener. This one here you're pulling. Yeah. It works much better. Yeah, okay. So anyhow, the original design on that. I do not have one of the classic like World War II mil spec hand can openers. Wait, the P38? Yeah, I hear you people that swear choice. by them. They I've never owned well. one. I, yeah, I, well, it's an army can opener. If anybody knows how to eat meat out of a tin, it's the army. It's, but I just, I never got, true. I've never owned one. If somebody wants to send me one, I'll put it on my key ring. Cool, but I've never had one. I've always had, I got two can openers on me. It's the kind of thing I use once a month, if that. Do you okay. have one? No, I do not have oh. a P38. I also carry a Rappy lighter. lighter. Well, it's been tweaked so that, well, the things, I, I ripped the cake cover off and, uh, made modifications. Hold on, I need to go all the way down to start with. Yeah, it's like I I like I'm I'm seriously in the oh. Alcohol torch. Oh, squeeze that. You're not doing anything yet. It's got a wick up. Yeah. But it's it's a dental torch. A dental torch. Yeah. You ain't getting that anywhere near my mouth, man. No, I use it for like, I, I don't know, it's for, for shaping stuff, but it makes a little pin flame. Okay. You can't really see it very well with all the lights down here. I what love the smell got? of an alcohol. I got, I got the reflector and lens out of the, uh, the Gerber. You just, you just need to carry the reflector. It's a mag light reflector. Yeah, yeah, that, that's right, I'm sorry, out of the Gerber. Side shields for my eyeglasses. I go into plants. Those aren't OSHA approved anymore, but I have them just to keep That's the mica. No, it's plastic. Okay. I have. I don't remember what exactly that. It's a tor pinner. No, it's a torque wrench. <laughs> That's for something just, in particular. You just have a torque wrench. That's for something in particular. I just don't. In know. your in your pouch. You want to tell them about that? I don't think. No, I knew what the hell it is. Yeah, you do. You gave it to me. 
Oh, no, we'll, we can't talk about no, that. No, we can't talk about this. Very it's a very special it's bolt. Very, very pre that's I, I have keepsakes in here. That, and I, I wouldn't carry that in your damn wallet. That should be on a shelf somewhere. I'm more worried about losing it in the shelf. And this this is mildly interesting. It's not like the scrotum of some furry animal. No, it's way too solid for that. I'm just asking. Hey, I don't know. You're all you know rugged and manly and hell. I don't, what? It's a rock. It's a love stone. It's not a love stone. You know what a love stone is? What's a love stone? It's a fucking rock. It's a fucking rock. <laughs> it's, a, uh, it's a quartz point. Okay. And a friend of mine gave this to me. That's neat. It's um, kind of fuzzy. Well, it's, it's, it's really bag. pretty. It's yeah, I know. It's a bag. It's really pretty. Um, I've never the friend, helped I used I used to be in. I used to be the moderator of the Dream Forum on the or the Dream section of the New Age Forum on CompuServe. Oh, God. <laughs> Just there was a lot of strange people there. One of them was a... The moment that I completely lost all respect for you was right there. I just want you to know that was the moment. Why do you think I... Have you ever talked online about what the way you dream? You're very special. You can do things in your dreams. You don't even want to talk about that. You told me about it. Well, that was the sort of thing we talked about. Not every you got a quartz crystal in a little pouch in your pocket, and you were the moderator of the entire dream forum for CompuServe. Yep. There's a guy named Dr. Stephen Fag. LeBurge. Fag. Like, whoa. From, like, well, I don't remember what you university just, he was If from. unicorns shot out of your ass right now with sparkles and rainbows, okay, I could not, like, make more fun of you than I can at the moment that I just learned that you carry a quartz crystal in a little pouch with, with the happy little purple band. And you're the moderator. I got another have, thing that'll make you laugh even more. Oh god, how deep does the rabbit hole go? Really. I was given I, that by a Wiccan witch who said I should really carry it around. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I just died a little inside, Paul. I need I need a cigarette. Point. I need, Kidwell. I need, I, wait. Where the hell's my e I, I, I may have to get good and pissed drunk right now. I don't know. I, I, wow. I just. It's like I carry around bits of my past. I like doing that. You carry around all of your past. Yep. I, uh, I just, I don't know. I, I was fine. Up until the crystal. The crystal was what I was like, okay, oh, hey, I was like, oh, hey, that's cool, it's neat. You know, it's a neat bit of science, and maybe it's a good luck charm, you know. His mom gave it to him, or an old friend in college, or something, and no, you were the moderator of the dream group. And yeah. I just want to set the room on fire a little right now. <laughs> oh, shit, I broke it. <laughs> you're breaking my shit. You're breaking my shit. It's got a big hole in the side, too. I know, you might it's kind of worn that. and it's old. Only, it's well, like it's been around. You need a new sack. I need a new, yeah. Here. It's like, oh, it your, unfa your sack's old and wrinkly, Paul, and it's got holes in it. <laughs> oh, dear. It's going to take forever to get all this stuff back away. I can only imagine the comments that we're going to get on this <laughs> video, because I think I've managed to offend everybody by now. And, yeah. So it's just whole new levels. I, mean. I hey, um, we've got we get so much viewer mail about our gear. Like we keep pulling stuff out of our pockets. Like oh, and there was like, I five pages, on which Gerber I carry. And I'm like guys, here, this is dumb. Let's just show it all. We'll bring out well, all the we gear. We have. We got it all out here. Yep. Now for future reference, because I'm really sick of moderating the comments, and and the forums and that. Um, I support. Equal rights. I support uh, a person's right to carry a sidearm. Absolutely. I am, mm -hmm. I am a huge supporter of gun rights. I'm a huge supporter of personal liberty. I am not by any means a rabid Second Amendment gun nut kind of guy. I don't listen to Rush Limbaugh. I kind of hope he dies in a fire. <laughs> um, I, I, I'm very, I, I tend to be very politically liberal. I, I don't get into politics to about at that. all. Yeah, it's like we don't do political yeah, I, I don't, anymore. I don't care I about bury him. guns, God, and government. On a it's regular basis. I like shooting because I like shooting. I like shooting because it's a relaxing thing for me. It's a very zen thing. I do math for fun. That's why I shoot. Okay. I like putting little holes and pieces of paper a long way away. I don't hunt. I've been hunting. My friends won't take me hunting ever again. 
Apparently, so, it's, I'm saying, it, well, it's not acceptable to drop a deer at that range. It's a 400 pound dog, okay? It's a big dog. I don't. Okay, you dropped the deer at what range? Was it real close or real far away? Far. Real far. Far. Apparently, your average dude with a 30 6 rifle can't shoot that good, okay? I, most of the people that I know and that you know that go hunting. Okay. They take the gun out of the case on November 1st, so buy two boxes of bullets, use one of those in the backyard, that was their practicing for the mm -hmm. year, go out hunting for two weeks, spend most of the time drinking and telling stories. My father went hunting and, every year. Yeah. He didn't carry a rifle up with him. <laughs> yeah. He carried, you know, he decks of cards. Yeah. That was his yeah. poker outing you know, for the they're, year. They're, they're, they'll take a deck of cards and a case of beer and go hunt. Okay, cool. Well, for my and, father, it and, was vodka, but. Okay, well, my family was all, you know, they're bringing rifles and shotguns and that. They come back, they might have shot three rounds, may or may not have actually hit something other than a tree. Come back, if, if they got a deer, it's probably because they hit it with a car. And, and they come back, and the rifle goes back in the case for another year. Mm -hmm. They have discharged the weapon maybe 25 times through the whole exercise. They don't know how to shoot. No, they don't. They have no idea. I go up with a rifle. Okay, I fired 5,000 rounds that year through that rifle. Mm -hmm. I, I'm used to shooting. I'm used to handling a weapon. I'm used to hitting what I aim at. I know how to hit what I aim at. So I go hunting. And we're like two hours in, I dropped a deer, and everybody's pissed at me because we're done. <laughs> and I'm like, what? I thought that was the idea. We were out here. It's cold. We're sitting in the woods. I'm, you know. Okay, I know a lot of ah! hunters, and there's so, this whole communing with it's, nature. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Nobody told me, man. I went out. You, went, you and, had a job to do. Yeah, I went out, and I'm like, okay, we're going to drop a deer, and then we get to go so inside for a warm. You put meat on the table. Yeah, I, was, like, that, I thought that was the objective. I was given the mission. I was given the equipment. We went out. We did the job. We came back, and everybody's pissed at me and won't take me out anymore. <laughs> I'm like, fine, screw you guys. I get to shoot in the summertime. They're when I was freezing freaking cold, and they're up there. Did, you get, did you get the meat? I mean, Yeah, oh, it's good. Oh, I, I love venison. Yeah, it's great. I love venison. Absolutely. I grew up in Michigan, man. Venison is a whole food group. Oh, yeah. I, I fully support hunting. Love it. Thinks it's great. I love, like, rabbit hunting, stuff like that. No problem. My grandpa, when I was a kid, taught me how to dress game. I can, I can go from there's a bunny in the field, boom, to there's a bunny on a plate. Yeah. Whole process. And that'd be a fun video. I'd be totally, I, man, you give me a Swiss Army knife. I can, you, you give me that in a 22, and I can give you dinner tonight. No problem. But well, a redneck and proud. I, I hope there's some <laughs> fire involved there somewhere. Yeah! Okay. Well, not so much for you. I mean, <laughs> cooking for Paul. It's done. You show the cow a match. <laughs> and just say, that's fire? That's fire. <laughs> and then take it, then <laughs> slice them up. Yeah, I just, no. I, I, I like my meat a little on the rare side. I got too much science knowledge, Kay. For me, it's when there's no, maybe a hint of pink oh, he, and he the juices run clear. Standard. Yeah, it's that's like the, the USDA has a standard for this for a reason. Okay, the government does not do things the best way always. In an so. orderly, proficient military manner. That's how meat is done. You, yeah, done. That's the, yeah, very done. As in killed done. As in, it's very, very done. This is dead. another one of those things that we just never got around to agreeing on, but I got to give him credit. I can hunt. He couldn't hit a bull in the ass with a snow shovel. I can hunt, but if you want to cook meat with fire, mm -hmm. get a fat man. Yes. Paul, I, I am a horrible cook. It's not so I, much I can't shoot, it's just I can't see. Yeah, well, okay, not for nothing, but I'm not giving you a rifle if you can't see. You got, okay, no, no, not cool. That's what scopes are for. That's not how I want to die, okay? I just, that's just me. I, I ain't going out like that, but man, he can cook. Oh, yeah. And if you give Paul a grill and Vicky a kitchen and Moose a bakery, you're set. Those, those three people can cook anything. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll set you up. So that's gear. And that's the monthly weird. update, and that's that's every, now. Let's let's here. We gotta we gotta do this. It's 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 the geek pissing contest. That's All right. Well, so there's there's no, my I pile. lost this about halfway through you plugging <laughs> your pockets. Now the question is, how long does it take to put all your crap back on? Because I am completely unloaded now. Shall we time it? Uh, we can, but I'm already most of mine is just putting stuff back into. Yeah, this you've pouch. got like one pouch. It's like yeah, it's like I'll be. I already got my belt undone. Right, does yeah. anybody have a stopwatch? Got it. You got it? All right, you ready? Tell me when to go. Hang on, hang on, I'll stand up. Well, does move, you're gonna wanna move the camera a bit. Yeah, you're gonna have to pan up. Maybe zoom out. 
Right there. You're good there. All right. Everything is on the table. And I'll put my mic down, too. OK, you ready? Three, two, one, go. All right. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> oh, your sunglasses. Yeah, my sunglasses are on the back. I just hung everything up. All right, Gerber. Swiss Army knife. Death knife. Cell phone. You know, I gave Mikey the knife that doesn't that has the combined knife and uh, uh, line cutter. Yeah. And I actually like that one better than this one. Yeah. How'd that and turn they out? Don't sell, they don't sell them anymore. So Mikey's got my good knife. Yeah, he's keeping it too. Yeah, I kind of figured. He's over at Fourth Coast now, right? Pretty much nonstop, yeah. Pretty much nonstop. Mikey, love you. Hope you enjoy the knife. Let's see. That one goes there. That one there. That goes in this pocket. That hangs on the back of the pocket. I'm done. Keep those down in a minute, seven. Oh, I didn't talk about this. While well, he's doing that, there is my Bluetooth headset. And it is a, I, what is it, a Jawbone Icon. It's got really good it's noise. It's the one that uses like the resonance of your big empty head, isn't it? Yeah, oh, the noise canceling on this is phenomenal. It works very well. They have, if you go to their website, they got a demonstration it's where they like got this. They're like 200 bucks, aren't they? They're it's like, like super 99, expensive. 99 bucks. Yeah? And uh, this week, I got a, Donna got a closed box, uh, or no, an open box return for like 74. Okay. But um, the demo on the website has a woman walking through a room that's got kids that are jumping rope and screaming and running around and generally making all kinds of racket. So pretty much your house. And she turns on the noise canceling and everything just goes away. And you're hearing her talk and nothing else. And then she turns it back off again and all the noise of the kids come back. Personally, so I think we should just sell your kids into slavery, but that's you know, oh, just no, my the kids solution. are cool. Can we sell the Donna? By the pound? <laughs> Anybody out there who would like to buy a large, middle-aged white woman, um, I'll be happy to sell her for, oh, I'll give you 50 bucks if you'll take her. How's that? <laughs> you're, you're just trying to get me in trouble. I just really hate that one. Must you do that, Mr. Kidwell? <laughs> Inside joke. And those are done. 249. OK. Put that in the wrong spot. It goes over here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's a. Takes two and a half minutes to fully re-gear. Now any one of those things can be deployed in you know seconds, but yeah. Well, th and that's not your normal daily. Yeah, this isn't what I wear around the house. This is like I'm going adventuring, need everything, and it's pretty rare that I would wear all okay. this stuff at the same time. But I got two I more just things. To load up. I got two more things to show. Oh, what do we got? This God, is that thing's got some miles on it. Sometimes I carry this one as well. It's another Gerber. It's not the Scout. It has a different set of tools. Um, it's it's like nice. 400, I think. It's got. It's a drop know, point knife. Yes, it does not have the. It's got the regular saw. Which kind of sucks. Which kind of sucks. And it doesn't have the Fiskars. So I don't generally carry this one around all that much. And to, in all honesty, it's like, where is it? There it is. Why do they even supply that? It's, 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 ouch. Oh, sorry. Good shot. Hey, finally, I injure you with one. But uh, it's, it's for that. You can put a lanyard on it. To hang on your belt. Yeah. yeah. That's what that's for. Well, Anyhow. You know, hey. Anyhow. Did you ever hear about Mikey and the Gerber? What? With the I, shovel? Oh, yeah. He had a shovel and you had a Gerber. Yeah, yeah. Mike, were... Mikey got a little springy one day and wanted to, like, just go sparring with me. And he had a, a you know a six foot spade shovel, and I had my Gerber. He just didn't want to hurt you. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, this is what the box looks like when you get it. You still have the original box. Oh, oh, this is this that is one. This is the special one. This is the, one. Special this special one. Special this is the one. one I got you. Yeah, this was a present. This was a present from you. It's all nice and shiny new still. 
I like I like that there's a little loop there. Yeah, that, that that's a good idea because what happens is the point yeah, busts it through the end. Through it. That's, that's the actually, one that's on my belt has done that. I well, wonder if I can get one of those holsters. That would be nice. I'm I could I because I, could I would a buy a couple of those. You'll notice it's jet black. Yes, it's very sexy. And you'll notice the jaws. Yes, it's got it's the blasting got the, the, cap crimp. the crimpers. Well, this is the military version, and it's got that. You know what What's that's, that for, Paul? That's for poking your hole in your block of C4 so you can stuff that crimp blasting cap into it. This is the EOD version of, uh, or, or military spec version, or whatever, the, I don't know what they call it, but it's, it's basically the, uh, the EOD Gerber. It's, yeah. it's, it's for got a bomb the technician. It's got the combined uh, line cutter in the blade. It does, oh, and it's got the, uh, the GJ4. The GJ4 as well. I mean, this is, this is just awesome. This was, this was an excellent gift. But I keep it all nice and pristine. It's all nice and neat and. But when a zombie apocalypse happens. I'm all set. Ready. I'm good to go. Okay. And <laughs> yes, it's like, I, I, I believe there's some truth to people having a natural affinity to things based on their parents, you know, what they were interested in yeah. somewhat. Yeah, you, you know what my nickname, what TM yeah, stands yeah. for. It's the, the mad bomber. Yes, it's, <laughs> well, I wanted to be a combat engineer for a while when I found out that the Air Force, if you got eyes like this, you're not getting near an airplane. You do need to be able to see the you plane. Do, yeah, you yeah. do. So I was thinking combat engineer, okay. so I mean, it kind of fits well. Yeah. My grandfather was a dynamite whore in the oh. Kentucky and Tennessee coal mines. Okay. And unfortunately, he died before I could go. My father was planning on having me go spend a summer down with him so he could teach me all about dynamite. I'm glad he didn't. Actually, that would have been <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I know. That would have been <laughs> really <laughs> awesome. But yeah. Not so good for your neighbors, but great no, for you. But it's like, and the one opportunity I had to see my grandfather detonate some dynamite, he had some, some tree stumps that he was going to take. Actually, it was whole trees he was going to take out. But, um, <laughs> My, I have my, fallen trees with deck cord. Yes, my, uh, well, he was taking stumps out. I mean, like yeah, the whole, yeah. But, and yeah. And, uh, well, he wouldn't set dynamite off on a Sunday. So I didn't get to see the dynamite going off. Because Jesus has problems with dynamite? Well, they were Cam Campbellite Baptists. Oh, I okay. mean, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's. <laughs> so understand, geeks like gear. And mm -hmm. that's why we have so much. This. Uh, for a geek, your personal carry gear defines you, and it's very unique to the person. Paul's gear is very different than mine, but there's there's definitely similarities. We both carry Gerbers. You know, the, the basic stuff of a Gerber, a good flashlight, and a Swiss Army knife are three things that every walk and talk in human should have. Mm -hmm. um, if you have uh, a son, we, we get a lot of email from moms with you know young kids. If you have doesn't even have to be a son. If you have a boy or a girl that is 12 years or older get them a Swiss Army knife. I know you can't carry it to school because the world turned into a bunch of pussies, but yeah. I <laughs> zero it, tolerance generally means zero intelligence. Yeah, 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 it's it's really stupid. But every 12-year-old kid in America should have a Swiss Army knife. Just a basic Swiss Army knife. It's just a thing. It's you'll use it. Get a flashlight and a Swiss Army knife, you use them like crazy. If you are of an age where you can afford to get your own Gerber and a flashlight, you should have one. That's mm -hmm. pretty much automatic. Um, every geek needs a Gerber and a flashlight. It's, you use them all the time. Beyond that, everything's your own personal choice. Um, if you're over 21, in the state of Michigan at least, if you're over 21 and you have a clean criminal record and you can pass an FBI background check and all that jazz, you can carry a firearm. You get your CPL. It's not a CCW. Hasn't been called a CCW in about 600 years. Well, it's a mine, CPL. Mine was a CCW, my old car. In about 600 years, <laughs> it's, a, <laughs> it's a CPL, it's a concealed pistol license. Um, and if you, I, I am a very serious advocate for the safe and responsible ownership of a handgun. If you feel you're responsible enough to carry one and can legally do so, by all means. An armed society is a polite society. Beyond mm -hmm. that, it's just a tool. It's all just tools. This, this is stuff that enhances my intellectual abilities as a human being. I can fix things. I can do things. I like tools. So I carry stuff that lets me do neat stuff. So that's the, the big wrap up on all the bits of gear that Paul and I carry as a rule. Now, quick question. This is your full 
This setup. is full summer setup. Winter okay. actually has more. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do another one in when, the winter time with my Scotty vest and all that. Day to day walking around, not fully geared up. What do you usually carry? I, I don't see you. Okay, in the, day to the day walking around. Um, I don't. Yeah, see I don't. I don't wear the shoulder in the summertime. It's too. It's too hot. It's too mm -hmm. much stuff. Um, if I'm not on like a tech call or anything like that, you're, you're just, I leave, you're, you're going I leave out. the e-holster. Just going out, like walking around the street. Go, walking around, um, what, do, what do you carry? I would have, I get rid of that. It's like, I get rid of this. These I don't carry get anyway, because that. that's. And pretty much everything else. It's like, and this is, this every, is, everything I carry in my pockets is my standard pocket contents. All right, and everything, the only thing I don't carry is this all the time. I carry this here because we're doing more stuff. I, I usually have this in the car, but I don't carry it in my pocket because it's too obnoxious. Mm -hmm. I, I, once I quit smoking, I got used to not having a bulky pack of cigarettes in my pocket, mm -hmm. and I can't, this makes me crazy. It's, it's the it's exact just, same it's size of the thing. pack. It is, it's the exact same size of pack of cigarettes, it's great, but I carry my cell phone in my pocket, which I used to, my cell phone used to always be clipped because mm -hmm. I had the IDEN phone, Yes. and I don't have a holster for my cell phone. Okay. I would my, like. One. I usually wear my I cell think a phone. Gerber's, a Gerber holster would be great, but I just I think keep my. I usually have mine in my shirt pocket, but these shirts don't have pockets. I'm a manly man and don't wear shirts. We with didn't pockets. talk about the shirts. Oh yes, yes, we have to talk about that. It's a new yeah. gear thing, right there. See. Oh yeah. The matching. Okay, when you do it with the moves, it's kind of creepy. But yeah, I that's didn't. I grabbed the shirt and pulled out. Oh okay, but yeah, we uh, we have matching shirts because we're getting married in June. <laughs> we're gonna have a June wedding. <laughs> <laughs> But no, Paul uh, got us matching shirts, and you can get Geek Group shirts now. Yes, they're geek out. Shirts. We we yesterday we opened the store, mm -hmm. which is awesome. You can check it out at it's a geekgroup.org/stores. I'm like, I'll, there's a link right there. See? Yes, there's a link. Mm -hmm. um, but you can go there because I don't know the URL yet. We just started it, and you can buy all kinds of stuff. Like every episode or so, we try to come up with a new shirt idea. Like uh, you can get there's a t-shirt out that's uh, that's a stepper motor yo. It's yeah, actually yes. a t-shirt. I saw that. Um, there's a rock star scientist with, uh, it's, it's me sideways with a mohawk. It's, it's the mohawk logo. Mm -hmm. All kinds of stuff. Just all kinds of cool shirts. Geek group stuff. Proceeds from there go to help the geek group. And there's an item in the store which is called donation. And you can set the value. I think the stock value is like 20, 25 bucks. But you can change it to whatever you want. If you want to make a donation to the geek group while you're buying stuff in the store, you can buy the donation, and that's basically just like a 20, 50, whatever dollar donation to us. Um, and it, it goes to help the Geek Group. We're doing major fundraising right now because we're trying to build the new lab here in Grand Rapids. We're trying yes. to get a building, and it's, it's a big deal. We need a building. We need a new lab because our lab in Kazoo got robbed today. Uh, so, yeah, we need to get the yes. hell out of Kazoo. The problem the thieves don't know is there was a camera running. <laughs> Yes, uh, we are presently. We down have you. Morning. We're going through the footage. We have your ass. We have three different video cameras. It's three or four. Three right now. I thought we had a fourth one over the rack. Uh, no, that's it. That's the server's IP. That's the server's. Okay, IP. so there's three different cameras in the lab, and uh, you walked right past one of them. We know this for a fact by the doors you went through. So yeah. we'll find you. Um, there's a hundred dollar cash reward for anybody instantly with you know just saving us going the trouble through the footage. Um, there's a $100 cash reward instantly for anybody with any information that leads to the arrest and conviction of anybody who steals from the Geek Group lab. Um, that's just, that's a standard thing. Mm -hmm. Bring me their head in burlap. $100. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's what's up. We have a new okay. store. We've gone through gear. We did viewer mail. That's the big update video. All right. I think all we're right. all up to date then. All right. We have nifty new shirts, so we thank have you for the shirts. shirts. You're quite welcome. Now, can you get these in the store? Uh, or is this just uniquely us? No, this is, these are available in the store. You can buy these shirts. You can get this shirt, yes. Okay. You can buy this shirt that smells like me. And I am God's gift to women. I, you can buy this shirt with my awesome, amazingly erotic aroma imbibed into it. Okay, this for, camera over here. For, oh, we're over here now? Ew. Ew. I'm Ew. not the one to just sweat three gallons in the course well, of this I'm not video advertising shirt. my shirt for sale. I'm either. just saying, hey. This shirt's for sale. Make an offer. Send me an email. Info at thegeekgroup.org. Okay. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden with The Geek Group. And I'm Paul Kidwell. Who loves you dearly. He does. Look at him. I'm also with The Geek Group. Well, for now. For now. We'll work on that. I believe the actual title is Chairman of the Board of Directors. You are the Chairman of the Board of Directors. Yes. Where's my gavel, damn it? In a box. We who, got it. It's in a box. It's who, in a Gaylord. Mm, it's in a Gaylord. It's with all the stuff from Set it. I need my gavel. 
Oh yeah, because it'd be great on this table. Oh yeah. I've blasted holes through tables with that thing. The big eight foot. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You guys have fun. We'll see you next time. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, donate, send us women, liquor, and jazz. We will see you next time here at the Geek Group. Until then, we're out of here. Have fun. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.